Yo, welcome, bros. All right. Bomba, yo, Dark Blitz, and Pakuyu, the pizza and the fat man. GG. I'm Asana. Well done, Astro. Well done, boss. Well done. GG's. All right. Oh, we got dodged. Unlucky. Welcome, Moriquen, Mr. l 2 rb Still failing to be the first every time. GG. Yo, Astro. Pakuyu, Dark Blitz, my Mayans, Johans, Braze, Yuzi, Girafo. Anybody flames my ball? Oh, uh, welcome, everybody. Avium, oh, it's even two one. Sir Fundamentals the third. GG. Wait, I gotta refresh. I hope your subs are still here. Hello, I'm here for the game search so with D and ends with Ota. Yo, Dominu, um, on that note, I'm doing Arcana giveaway. If you want, you can s give me your Steam um, idea and password, and um, maybe you can win a giveaway, you know? You send me a DM or something. On that note, on that note. Yo, welcome everybody. Yo, Fe wait, Felix. I thought you were a gunner, bro. GG. Yo, welcome, bros. Welcome, welcome. How are we doing? Seeing your face will break my fasting? How, what's the correlation? But I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry for the bros fasting. I won't eat it on stream now. I'll eat it off camera. But I have one massive burrito ready to be devoured. There's that. Hi, you wanna eat it? Lois is a very successful what? player. I know what it's like to fast. Lone Wolf, thank you for the primer. Respect to all the homies fasting. <clears throat> nah, I'm scared to- Okay, I'll give you less pig. And I'll let me use PCs too. Nah, that's true. I hope you had a good time there, Felix. Looks tasty? You didn't even see it. You just saw a piece of wrapper. Yo, Guild Horizon. Yo, Salashor, welcome. Lois is a very successful player. We're up fixing Why, primer. Oh, 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 happy to see you again, boss. Alois and Hart, Alois and Hart, Alois and Hart. Thank you for the tenor. Appreciate it, bro. You'd have forgotten. Is Azula underscore and now your account? No. No, it's not. Hello, guys. I'm Alois. Today we are going to the primer. Been missing you. Yo. Glad everything is resolved. Thank you. Good luck in your climb today. Yo. Less than three. Thank you, man. If anybody flames See ya at the Lucille. Yo, Napot. Ten months later and still no Arcana. Shut up! Thank you for the tank, Gloop. Thank you, Runes Domain. Yes, it's Gangplank for now. Thank you for the scam today, guys. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Piggies. Why quit on Shen? He is popular. He is popular and there's no need to make it worse. Oh, he is unpopular. Well, that's kind of also why I stopped playing Shen for the time being. The people in your Discord vocal chat are pretty cool. It's a nice space. Vocal chat? Oh, you mean voice chat? Ah, uh, that's nice to hear. Arcane goes 24. They were tier one. I finally saw. I, th I, I thought I saw Arcane. Now I got a little, little. Okay, into Jax, Nunu. I don't think I'll go for the bank plate setup. I'm gonna go for bone plating, overgrowth, eh, overgrowth, and scaling health. Nice. But we'll go first strike here. Why did I get banned? Because somebody hacked into my account. And then, um, it was, uh, G. That's what happened. Attack speed chart? No way you go attack speed. Yo, barrel me timbers. I got you. After dropping so many top comments on your shorts, I feel like it's finally time I sub to Piggy Central. Piggy Central even. Alright. Why no skin you all a millionaire? Bro, I'm a billionaire. That's why I'm not a millionaire, man. And I like to be frugal. It's a waste of money. Hey, boss, in your undirected message, will you also go for some off road top lane like Cassio? Somebody asked me this question yesterday, too. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. I'd probably play in a mid, though. Yo, Sparky, good to see you, brother. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing amazing yourself. And we play this song one more time. So it's pretty good, no? All right, let's go. Jax and Arelia. It's not easy to side the Gissy Champion and Cassidy and Nunu can jump on me. We're in a pretty tricky draft here for the first game. 
Did you go practice GP combos a lot in practice? No. Alright, we're starting a gold and more. Thank you, Johnny. Bro, if you compare my gameplay to Solar Baka, I'd be like... I don't even know what to compare it to, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, not so long ago, I had a talk with uh, Mr. Solar Baka. We wanted to do a video together in general, so... I mean, it's actually perfect that the bros choose gameplay too. Is Yorick also getting milk? No, Yorick has already... Yorick has already retired. Yorick has went into retirement. Yorick has done his job. Oh, they were the scam train! Thank you, Mr. LPL AD King for tier 1, I appreciate it. Big man, do you still do vote reviews? I'm gonna do one vote review this week, yes. I'm gonna record it tomorrow. Yo, Konami. Thank you for 100 bits. The expected coaching was amazing. My gameplay, or my Shen gameplay isn't. Can I play gameplay? Is a newer player as a champion too hard? This champion is on par with uh, the difficulty of Riven, in my opinion. Wait, it's Nunu support Jax Jungle, and it's Aurelia top. Uh oh, that's not a good matchup, by the way. Hard challenge until now is Shen, for sure. Okay, guys. Arena is a hard matchup, but it becomes very hard after early levels, right? And especially level 6. Early game, it's actually completely fine. Because Arena is a pretty weak level 1 champion. I'm just going to check paces here in case she wants to face check here. And we want to sit here. I want to try and get the first three melees. And also see if I can get the first strike bear off. E okay. Alright, Gangplank is definitely one of the hardest champions to master in the game. I played him a lot because I used to be a competitive player, right? I used to be a competitive player. Hello, Mr. Alois, want Urgot to, to master as well? The thing is, I've put Urgot in the pool multiple times, but he did not get selected. I'm just gonna hit him, right? And I hit passive. I mean, she's disrespecting for just walking up, but this is what you want to do very often as Gangplank. Right? If you don't know, if I kill this barrel, your pa your passive resets, which is also where all of your damage comes from. So I'm just gonna sit on my barrel here. Oh, well, that was like, uh, uh, uh we don't talk about it. Alright, we know she has Q. <clears throat> Her Q also counts as an auto reset, so I gotta keep that in mind. One minion is gonna get me my level 2. So I'm gonna wait for the barrel to get low. Hit her, hit level 2 as well, walk up. I just Q her, I guess. Alright, she's used- oh. I'm fine to use some extra mana on her for the Qs. She's level 2 now. That she missed. She's deep blade, so we're in an amazing position here. She can't sustain. And I Q the in. Alright. Nice blade. Alright. First games are gonna be easier, right? This mini is gonna be level 3. Always 2 melees on 3rd wave, you get your level 3. I can select 2 points in Q here, actually, to get lethal range into her, maybe. Okay, she's in lethal range now. She also has, uh, what's it called? No W yet, right? So I think just one Q will kill her here. Ooh. The cannon, she needs to kill the cannon before she... Yeah, she's nothing to do. She needed to kill the cannon to get her level 3, so I knew I wasn't really at any rush there. And now I want to try and get enough gold for my Sheen. Actually, wait. I have features market. Kill this minion fast, so this means I'll get the turret. We're in a good spot. Nice. We do the game. I mean, the games in the early game are going to be a little bit better. Shen is getting milk, yes sir. Alright, actually getting the melee is good. This one is pushing back into me. I am going to TP, but I want to wait, so I'm not going into Futures Market. Also, I can TP away, I think, at like... Let's say... 8 gold? And we should be good to not go into depth. Even if you're like minus 1, you won't go in depth. But it's perfect, okay, there we go. We get Shin on first recall. Of course, the best reset we can get. And I got my passive there. So I do extra damage. I'm gonna let this crash because the next wave is all the way here. So if you're considering for yourself, should I hold this wave or should I let it crash? You check your minimap, where's next wave at, then you make a decision, right? Oh, I can't one-shot it, so I gotta get this one. It's gonna hit one next. There we go. This one gets damaged by the minions. And look, when your passive is off cooldown, you hit a barrel, your passive resets. That's one of the most important things to know on Gangplank. A lot of people also don't know, but the most of the damage from Gangplank comes from his passive because it's instantly 106 true damage, right? So all your damage comes from your passive, so you could have your passive, kill a barrel, and get your passive again. Double passive, right? For a lot of people that would be basic, but it's important to know that. Alright, so she's rushing Tabi, so we'll check that. Make it a habit, guys, whenever your opponent is getting back into lane. First thing you do, literally, when your opponent comes back to lane, press tab, check her items, and you know how strong she is. One of the most important habits, even. 
And now I'm gonna wait with killing my barrel until I don't have to hit the minions. Okay, never mind. I had to hit it one more time. My bad. And now I just want to keep stacking my first rank money. I'm gonna hit this once, proc the sheen into there, wait for my sheen to get back. Q her with the sheen, but the barrel has a sheen in it right now. And I'll wait for her to go for the cannon. And boomba. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get to level 6 way faster because she just hit level 5, right? She has no potions, only a biscuit. So I just want to stand in range and Q her in the face. Whenever I can. And now I have two barrels. Hit her with the passive, she can't do anything about that. And as long as I have passive, she can basically never fight me. And we don't talk about that barrel. Jax is coming, but he only has a sheen. I have my passive, so I'm ready to fight here. I'm gonna hit my passive here. And I have passive again. So, the double passive here. Should give me enough damage to kill the Jax. There we go. As long as you play with your passive, that's where all your damage comes from. You're gonna be golden. There we go. Alright, uh, I need 45 mana for my Q, so I'm gonna set up the means like this. Ooh, nice. Alright, first game is gonna be faster. I have played a lot of GP in the past though, compared to Shen, so I'm familiar on the champion. Oh, Alright, we level up so we get extra mana. I'm gonna stay for this plate real quick. I think I'm gonna have Essence Reaver already, because I also started- Oh, oh, I might be dead. I'm gonna have to flush this E. She has boots. Okay, I think she could have kept chasing me, but she sees the Warwick. We do get Essence Reader because of the plate, and I like the results. I might lose a wave here, maybe I play myself, but I don't go into depth. Also, guys, if you don't know, you can leave base at minus three and you still don't go in depth. Look, minus three gold, walk out of base. You don't go in depth. I don't play a lot with Futures Market, but I know that much. <coughs> Me, not knowing what GP passive is, a lot of people don't know what GP passive does, but yeah, I mean, just read it. Gangplank's melee basically ignites the target, and you do 230 true damage. And if you kill, a, and you get movement speed, by the way, and then every time you kill a barrel, you get their passive back. Depth. GG. Are we gonna shoot soon? No, not even soon. Minute 7 Sheen is really broken though, Essence Reaver, because right now, and this is the thing as well with Gangplank, right? Gangplank is the highest gold income champion in the game, because look, you get 5 extra gold, or 6 extra gold if I kill a minion with Q, look at this, I get 6 extra gold, you see that? If you do a barrel with that, so look, here if I kill this minion, plus 6, right? But if I kill a barrel, and I hit it with Q, every minion gives me the 6 extra gold, so you saw there, plus 18. So I basically get a full extra minion there, so... If I kill 6 minions, I get 36 extra gold, so basically extra, every wave gives me 2 extra minions in terms of gold income. Gangplank and Twisted Fate have a similar passive in that regard, but Gangplank, and that's also the gold that stacks towards your passive upgrades, right? And then paired with First Strike, I got one passive stack, I gotta focus the barrel, and get the true damage again, and then I win. Ois. And that's how Gangplank basically gets all his money income. So here, I'm gonna hit that one first. Watch this. Plus 24, right? Right, it's stupid with these things. I mean, that's that's the... Every champion has their own... Like, benefits and downsides, right? I'm gonna ult here. If I don't get kills, then I get the wave. Uh oh Wait, I need to wait for my passive. So here's first passive. Gotta go for this one. Uh oh No passives. Okay. You're a pig. Alright. Alright. Well, okay. I got I got, I got this right. And let's not let's not disrespect anymore. Uh, I'm gonna go for another crit cloak, because now we get 50% crit, and now every barrel can 50% crit, every Q can 50% crit. Well it works didn't work thing. Okay, well that sucks. If you use your sheen passive on the barrel without detonating it, it stores the damage for the next time you proc it. Also, I'll make an unranked to iron, which... Thank you for the 200 bits. Yes, I know, I was talking about that earlier. Did you Do you know that you were able to stack sheens in every barrel? So let's say I'd stack sheen in this barrel, and then in the next barrel I stack sheen again and it keeps stacking. You were able to like full stack damage. Full, like, 
multiply the sheen procs. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I really got a triple kill, so that's pretty scary. And I gave her a massive shutdown, so let's keep it the focus. I mean, she's not gonna Blade Rune King yet because she rushed uh, Tabis, but we gotta be a little bit more wary now. I have a lot of crit here. <laughs> and that's 26 extra gold. So we have 250 gold extra here. And 220 gold extra right here. And then I could also go for the blank plank setup and even get more gold, right? But it's fine. So now every wave I get, I'm just gonna E and focus the cannon, or sorry, get, get this, 49 extra gold. 49 extra gold, right? No other champion can do that. If I do golems, if I get all six tiny golems, boom, that's... And now I get seven, right? So seven times six is 42 extra gold, right? So you're, you're, just, you're just money money farming the whole game. We're money laundering. Alright, wait for this. Look at this. We go for 313. Plus 42. What can you do? Right, so I don't need to kill my this Arelia ever. All I need to do is just farm as many minion waves and drone cans with my Q. And I'll infinitely out, like, outvalue my opponent. So let's say she has 100 CS and I have 100 CS right now. I'd still be like 700 gold something up. Simply because of my champion. Bro, what's 42? If you correct me, at least be right. Alright. And now we go for Navori, right? I'd actually like to sit on this. And now we get this. I go Blue Trinket every game on Gangplank, because Gangplank is a champion that is... I mean, you can switch it to Red Trinket too. The way you kind of want to perceive this is, if I look at their team comp, look how hard it is for me to, like, face check any of these champions, right? So that's why I go Anybody Blue Trinket, so I'm a little bit more safe. If I didn't feel that scared of people... Gold printer champ. Yes, sir. Thank you for the tier 1 and printing me some gold IRL. Okay, I should shut up. But, hey, thank you so much for the support, man. I appreciate it, man. Koopas, I will not get stuck on GP. If I get stuck on GP... Okay, chat, if I get stuck on GP and I cannot climb to master on GP... I gotta be careful with my worlds. Never mind. I should win, though. I should win with my items. All I need to do is get the barrel, and I get my true damage passive. That was way closer than I thought. Hey, man, if she has baby, she actually just you. destroys me. I should play a little more resolved. Hey, it's Bamba, thank you for the prime. Hey, thank you, Alec. I appreciate it, man. Alright, well, we have six grubs. Also, one thing, your passive procs on turret. So here, I'm gonna wait with killing this barrel, because look, I'm gonna wait for this to come, then true damage, barrel, another true damage. And you watch on the turret. Also, you can double reset barrel, kind of, if you do it max range, but it's kind of hard to explain. Okay. Oh, mama. Passive. I don't want to talk about it. My champ is too broken. Okay. But the higher we climb, we're gonna get challenged more, okay? That was disgusting. Without... I mean, I double crit him. But that's Gangplank, though. See, the thing is, right? See, the thing is... If I'm Shen here... If I'm 4 kill Shen here, I would never do that. I would never do, like, close to that amount of damage as a 4 kill Shen. I did have 50%. And now we just go for this, right? But look at this. I have five kills. L just like my gold income is so stupid high. If you are good at farming on Gangplank and you just farm your barrels like this every time, look. Okay, plus 35 extra gold. Now I'm going to one shot this wave and take more drone camps. And everything I do is basically I farm like two extra means, right? Every wave, two extra means. Boom. Plus 35. And 42. So I get the normal gold plus basically like. 50%, I mean, not 50%, like 30% extra. I have ult here in 20, so I can't help. And I'm gonna barrel first, then auto with Shin, kill the barrel, and make sure everybody dies. And then we're gonna hit the barrel again, and just print money. Plus 42, every time. And so we get gold here. We're already at 220 gold here again, and GG. You need to, every time you kill a minion with your Q, you get extra gold. She has Bork, I gotta be careful. What the hell was that even? Okay. I mean, I got one extra barrel because of Navori. Dude, what was her stun? I've never seen that really stun that small. It actually hit me. I don't know if she's fake or I'm a, ki I'm a pig. That's it. Money, money. Yo. 
So we don't encourage gambling, but then we play GP gambling crits. Okay, Mr. Gambler underscore yeah. NL. <laughs> Mr. Gambler, it cannot be a thing. Fake underscore NL is a banger. We're gonna go to Korea in two months, hopefully. I'll, I, I should use that name. But, Mr. Gambler. No, oh, Gambler underscore NL is too far, bro. That's way too far. Okay, wait for my passive. And then kill the barrel. Please don't let his poison kill it. Okay. Use your W. Also, once you have Essence Review, you never run out of mana. And another thing to know about Gangplank is once you hit level 13, your pa your barrels come out super fast. So now look how fast they come. Right? And there's also the Ghost Barrel thing you can do. Oh, I did it instantly. Wait, I'm, I'm Solar Baka. True damage. Well, I'm not Solar Baka, though. I'm a piggy. I actually did it, though. Usually, I feel that combo. But that was pure luck, by the way. You need to land your Q out of the barrel range. And then... I mean, I'll show you in a second. Trust nothing to chance. But yeah. And then... Oh. I mean, this Jax is scared of me now, right? Wait, do I actually just kill this? No. Oh. Jax was like, where's the homie? Okay, we got the third item. It feels so good being able to get gold and being able to have wave clear, man. On Shen with this setup, I, I, I can't do shit. I couldn't even do anything. Now this, I'm just like Bill Gates. I TP here. I one shot this piggy. Yeah, check it, do that. Alright, no, no, come for me, please. Thank you, Boogleman, for the T1. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna go for the T1 bit there. Yo, Jack, thank you for another raid, man. Hey, Jack, thank you so much for your blessings. I hope you had an amazing stream. Guys, don't know who Jack Spectra is. You're living under a rock. LEC Star. Currently playing in the Spanish League. Almost undefeated. Basically undefeated. Educational AD Carry main and handsome. Go check him out if you want to know everything about AD Carry. There you go. Hope you had an amazing stream, boss man. And uh, thank you so much for your blessings. All right. Um, also, guys, if you guys don't know me, I am an educational top lane player. I play Riven and High Elo, but High Elo sucks. So we're doing. It just disappeared. That form it disappeared. We're doing educational. Unranked to Master on Gangplank, and we started today, so we're playing in the lowers MMR now, we're gonna climb till Masters, playing Gangplank, trying to explain all my thought processes whilst doing so. Yeah, you guys distracted me, like, it's your fault, actually. Jack Spectra, just go away, man. That's your fault, go away. Nah, it's your fault, actually. Kidding, of course! Buff Aurelia, it's a weak champion, one item against three. Nah, I shouldn't play it like that, though. I shouldn't play it like that, though. I shouldn't play it like that, though. So yeah, uh, in terms of uh, education here, we uh, we got our layout. I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else to say. We're gonna go for shoot ball. That's not gonna happen again, by the way. I'm not gonna get caught up like that again. Not happening again. <clears throat> it's okay. Uh, that's the, the 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 thing is with this setup, and as gangplank is a champion. Bro, Solar Baka would have won that one easily. The thing is, with with Gangplank, you one-shot people, but you're also super vulnerable yourself. And she killed me, she got a 1k shutdown, and she also took the tier 2 turret with a bounty. So this guy got like 2k gold there, I gotta be careful now. If you were Shen there, he wouldn't have been able to kill you. You're playing, bro. You gotta get the power beds. Keep it up like that. Look at that. Shen wouldn't be able to do that. Are they coming for me? Sure that they are. What am I doing? What I What is he doing? Can I land the barrel? Okay, I, I need to focus, I need to focus. This is why you don't let Alois on Gangplank, you just let Alois play Riven. That's fine, we'll warm up, okay? I used to play the Shepity Competitive, believe it or not, okay? So just, just, just wait a second. Look at her items, by the way, she's so fat now, I gotta be careful. I will outplay this, I will outplay this. She doesn't know about my barrel. Yeah, 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 nice one, bro. Okay, I gotta lock in. This is not going good. I need different music. We need different music. We need different music. I already see the way it is. I see the way it is. 
Gangplank music. Alright, uh, give me a second. Gangplank mix. Music for playing... Music for playing Gangplank. League of Legends mix playlist. Yeah, alright. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, we got it. Okay, we're gonna look in though. Bro, Bloodthirster Caitlyn. I went to PA for tier 2 turret. I do have 4 items at minute 20 though. I'm gonna go buy a, uh, a, an item so I just like go, go further in depth. If you are in depth, at least go further in depth. Not financial advice, by the way. I, it's like I'm at a child's party, bro. Okay, it's too cringe. I can't. I can't. It's too cringe. I can't. It's too cringe. It's way too cringe. Bring a Benjamin at this, baby. Alright, let's focus. We're four items in. Um, As long as I don't let people jump on top of me, it should be very free. Also, pass the first, then... Then... Arrow, and then pass it again. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done looking like a fool. Let's focus now and lock in and actually win the game. Okay. Caitlyn, you have Bloodthirster. Your mom doesn't like you. Nah, but you're... Uh, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You can hear the music. Just open your ears. Okay. The benefit is we are gangplank, so I'm still so far ahead in gold because I've been farming well. I have 10 assists per minute, and so I'm full built. The bad thing is I'm inting really, really hard, and this game might get hard now because I keep inting and I realize it's going to be 3 items now herself too, and my team is dying to Nasher. What's his name? Moshi Moshi? <laughs> Alright, everybody's into now. Oh no, Kassadin is getting shutdowns. Alright, lock in. Okay, last time I said it, lock in. Uh, you shouldn't be here. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna push our bot all the way deep. And then we're gonna move to our team and play for that. Dragon is in two minutes. I just wanna push our bot all the way. And then group to Nasher. Wow. Alright. Push up one more wave, then we group. We're gonna be level 16 soon. Alright, now we're gonna group up. I can do Baron extremely fast because of my pass. I can like proc passive, use barrels, and like proc passive again, and you do like 5,000 5, true damage. Okay, let's go. Kassadin is almost 3 items. I already has 3 items because I gave her so much gold, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Level 16? No, not quite. If we get 1 pick, it's also good. I should probably switch my super... Or my trinket to sweeper so that when people... Or like they're, they're like forced to face check me now. Oh, what the hell. That is not good. Yeah, I was on a war too. That's why I need sweeper. I need sweeper. <laughs> okay, let's go. We can just do this. I don't think they have vision in the pit. Look at this. So barrel and passive again. Look at this true damage. That's all true damage, by the way, for my barrels. Or well, for my passive. Oh, I reset it. Oops. My Jax is here. Stop doing it. Nice, well played. He doesn't have mana for ult. Nice. Okay. Uh, he did get a tier 2. He's level 15. We gotta, like, this game is, is pretty close now. I almost have my third upgrade too. One more wave, and we're gonna have all alt upgrades. Once you're 500 here, you have it. Infinity Edge will boost your damage, which is Infinity Edge already buffed, but I can't buy it, right? Because I have uh, Navori, so I can't. Oh, 
All right, let's recall. We get this, and we get red potion, and now we are unstoppable. Red potion, ult upgrade. All right, we're as strong as we can get. Let's go. <clears throat> Can't hear the music? Estimation mark louder. How about that? Okay, let's not overstay. There's a dragon. I already has top. I won for one really easily, I think. I just need my passive. I don't even need to barrel. I gotta really focus on passive. I'm 100% crit, right? Movement speed. And passive kills her. The passive will still kill her. That's 1000 true damage, by the way. 1000 true damage because of passive. Yeah, that's balanced. But gang playing late game is one of the most broken champions for sure. And your passive can crit, right? I mean, I could do the solar baka thing and kill them in their base, no? I'm not solar baka. That thing is clear. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. It was like okay, and then a little bit of int, and then like okay. But I hope you guys take away some stuff. I mean, the most important thing is understanding how your Q gold income works, how your passive works. Uh, those are for sure the most important things. Spawn camping, yeah, there you go, yo, good to see you, Fuxia. Wait, how do I pronounce it even? Fuxia? Fuxia? Fuxia, probably. Alright, uh, we give it to Mr. Jonas. At least you don't need to wall hop. That's true, that's true. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is... Um, guys, against Rankton, this matchup, um... Is, uh, pretty hard. I would say that Rankton beats me in most uh, extended fights, right? He wins, he wins the extended fights, and um, after level 6, it's really, really hard to approach him ever, because if he gets on top of me, it's really hard for me to escape. He is at least playing with TP, which gives me a little bit more lean way. Now, the thing is, if I farm even in this matchup, and that's what you have to memorize is Gangplank, you will always be ahead, because I have more ways to getting fed. First things first, I only need 2.5k gold to finish this item, right? I'm gonna get gold from first strike, and I'm gonna get gold with my Q. At the start, it's only three extra gold for me and that I kill, but it will stack up rapidly. Yeah. Once we have sheen, it becomes easier too. Let's go. That video was a banger, I'm gonna be honest. Yo, Eric, first game. So this is game two. Sorry. Real Levantin, calm down, buddy. Calm down, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna just get my first strike here. I do have Q start, actually. I should've went for E start. I'm a piggy, but we knew that. Ah, uh, well, 70 money. Panda Caliber the second. Thank you for the primer. Brace, alright, send me that. Mardaga, thank you for the prime as well. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the support. All right, let's run. That guy mm -hmm. I should have went for barrel, by the way. How does he even know? All right, what is this brace? All right, this is some gangplank song. This is some gangplank song. All right, I should have went east start. GV pass is broken. 18 gold. I just queue him for the first strike. I'm getting my passive here, but I don't want to, to proc my bone plate. And guys, I'm going to play this matchup just to farm perfect, okay? If I farm perfect, I'm super happy. Because remember, I will be ahead by farming perfect. My champion generates more gold.
I'm gonna, he's gonna hit level 2 here, so he can select E and get on top of me, right? But I do have my bone plating. I want to prioritize queuing a minion if I need to queue something. I'm gonna back away here. Okay, he has E second. I'm gonna hold the wave here, guys. Even though it's gonna cost me HP, it's gonna allow me to hold the wave here for longer. So I lose 200 HP, but now the wave is here. And this results into Reddington not being able to get close on top of me that easily. Because you see now the wave is super close to the turret. And so now I'm not that scared of getting all in here. We keep the wave in the happy spot. And we are happy, look. We're sad now, I missed the minion. But first strike, bomba. Oh! Oh! And now we're happy! And look, the wave is still here. Fire the those Happy spot enjoyers. Just that one little trick I did with the wave already makes my entire landing phase very easy to play. Alright, and now we're going to be level 4 faster. I need to stay as high HP as I can. And so that I can play out the bounce. I'm going to hit the barrel here, get my passive back. One caster here gets me level 4. Now, Reddington is not even close to level 4, right? And because that's the case, I can play out this bounce pretty easily, get it to reset, and we're happy. So now, I'm going to hard focus on the wave. Q him as well, why not? <clears throat> I'm going to hit my passive first, so that when I hit my barrel, I'll get my passive again. But I missed the Mian. I'm going to passive on him. I'm just short of my sheen. How much do I need? One. Okay, I, I get to go future. Did he just E? Flash E back? Did I reach Master So Shen? I wanted to, but Shen was, woke up today and he wasn't home. He was reaching for milk or something. Couldn't find him anymore. Couldn't find him anymore. Couldn't find him anymore. Alright, I should have reset faster though, but I thought maybe I could sneak in the kill and echo, but it's okay. We get Sheen on the first recall. So already happy. Oh, he used double E, by the way. I just want to push him out. Alright, he's gonna reset. Oh, I'm gonna cancel him. Okay, he's recalling. Okay, I probably can't hold this wave because look how far away this wave is. And this wave is a little bit too massive. And there's one super important thing to consider here, guys. This wave is pushing into me right now. But afterwards, I also have to play out the bounce, right? I mean, I'm going to try and hold it. But what I have to memorize here is I'm going to have to play out the bounce here. And I don't have to pee anymore. And, gang and ranked is going to be level 6, right? I'm half HP. I do have the CS lead, so I'm happy with that. But I have to set up one reset here somehow. I'm probably going to use my ultimate for that as well. I want to really preserve my HP. And like I said, I'm probably going to use my ultimate here at level 6 to set up my next reset. And keep in mind, guys, as a top laner or as a solo laner, what you always have to be thinking about is how do I set up my next reset? As long as you're doing that consistently, you will always be in a fine spot. But yeah, now it's super tricky for me to get my reset in, right? Look at this. He still has a potion. He's full HP. He's going to be level 6. So I'm going to wait for next wave to come. And that's the way I'm going to be ulting so I can get my reset. Well, that guy's greedy. For sure. He's bloodthirsty. Okay. Use his potion. He's going to hit 6 there. No? I'm going to ult. And now we can reset, guys. That's how you set up your resets. There we go. Why is bro yapping? I'm an educational streamer, bro. What should I, what else should I do? What else should I do? I can also... I, I will just play the game and not speak. I will just... I, will just, I, will just, I just want to speak then. I just want to speak then. I just want to speak then. So, guys... I have 10 CS lead, right? But I also have 118 gold here and 60 gold here. So yeah, we're 200 gold extra as well. This is pretty much the hardest part of the laning phase. Now I just need 900 gold or 700 with four, uh, blah, blah, blah. Futures market, we're good. 
And now, guys, ranked didn't just reset. So what I'm going to do is hard push this wave. Why do I hard push this wave? It's so that I'll crash it into his turret. Then it's going to bounce back into me. And then when the wave is bouncing back into me, I'm not going to be forced to walk up for license anymore. And we get to skill for free. So you see, all the decisions that I make this lightning phase are more so to be safe and scale rather than to be aggressive, right? Boom. Wait, ranked didn't even reset. Oh, he did. He has tabbies. Well, he just lost the game. Because not only is the ranked dead, he's also losing two plates. And I'm going to get an extra wave. The, the game is over. Ranked is not allowed to make mistakes like these in a matchup. Because the amount of gold income I'll get for this is just too high. I can queue this. And the next one I one shot. Oh, he knows it's GG. And now we get two plates. He loses two waves. Yeah, GG. And now I have item. Minute eight. Now, of course, the higher elo we're gonna get, this early laning phase part is gonna get harder and harder and harder, right? This early game as Gangplank is the most important part, I mean, for any champion, but Gangplank is most vulnerable in the early game. But at this point in the game, once you finish Essence Reaver, you can one-shot all casters. Melees, you need two barrels for, but I can pretty much one-shot waves almost. And as a result of that, I'm just gonna be stacking up my money. Look, we have 129 here. Just keep track of how much extra money I'll get now. Just just watch how much gold income I'm gonna get. Alright, that's an extra 12. Rank this mid. Plus 36. That's already 70 extra gold. That's a full extra cannon. So, hit the melee once, then next barrel, it's gonna watch everything, and I'm gonna hit it on the ranked in two. And I have passive. Did you? I didn't even play that that well, it was a little close, but... The game's absolutely over, I'm gonna ult there. It's a zoning ult, I should've ulted here. I crit him. Bro, I crit him with 20%. That's so disgusting. 20% <gasps> crit. 20% crit. I hit him with a 400 crit. Oh, GG. He's also 1 and 4, though. Yo, Revelo Toasty. GG. Average crit. <clears throat> Well, how much gold did I have going back into lane? It was like 60-something, right? I'm gonna go CR boots, double crit cloak. Now I have 50% crit. I'll TP back in a second. And uh, so he he got he has Tabi's double longsword. And I'm already gonna go to my second item. 50% crit. And all you need to do as gangplank is survive the early lane phase. Now, it looks really easy. Trust me, you're gonna require a lot, a lot of practice on this champion. I would say that Gangplank is amongst the top 5 hardest champions to learn in top lane. Because of how vulnerable the champion is in general. And how like mechanically intensive he is as well. I'm a piggy. And remember, when you snowball on Gangplank, you are the highest gold in-game our highest gold income champion in the game, and then you're also snowballing. So it's like, every team hates their life. And they hate you too. GG. Game's over. Harder than Fiora? I would say that picking up Gangplank is harder than picking up Fiora, but the ceiling of Fiora is probably... Actually, no, I would say that Gangplank has one of the highest skill ceilings, because, like, almost nobody is as good as Solar Vaka. And then also, he's one of the hardest stepping zones. So maybe Gangplank is actually the hardest top laner in the game. When I think about it. Because of his skill ceiling and his, like, stepping stone. Whereas Fiora, you can just play Grass Fiora. And you're actually gonna be, like, fine with her. Well, I don't have enough. Let me steal some money.
If you eat at level 7, if you eat auto queue a barrel, you pretty much always get the timing right. At level 13, it changes. Then uh, level 13, you can just always get it. But basically, Gangplank's barrel. Oh, I always had this as well. I should have checked for that, but it's okay. The way Gangplank's barrel works, guys, is at level 1 to level 6, it's like the slowest. At level 7, it gets faster. So at level 7, you can just do auto Q, and then you can like one shot, kind of. At level 13, it gets even faster. So it's like locked. Similar to Shed Passive, I guess. I didn't even know that until yesterday by Petro Coaching, but we don't talk about that. If I had this score as Shen, I wouldn't be hardly fed. Alright, this guy's dead. Yes, if you have... If you understand wave management well, and you're like... Good at escaping, like, basically, if you if you manage your waves well and farm well on Gangplank, you are going to be successful. But, he is very susceptible to ganks, and it's very hard to trade well with him. Like I said, I didn't look for a single trade in the early game, right? I avoided any trade, I played my waves to avoid trades, and then I just got, like, one good moment. The one moment where Rennington died in the river, I said, game's over. Instantly. Because Gangplank will simply get too much gold, and once Gangplank gets ahead, it, it, it's game over. Because... It's, it's like, how, how, what do you compare it to? It's like, if a rich person gets like 10% over, I don't know how to put out. Th basically, the thing is, if Gangplank is ahead, he will expand his lead so incredibly. Remember, he had double longsword, now his call fields, I get a full extra item. You just gain gold so ridiculously fast as a champion. I get... Are they like... Okay. Well, I just focus my barrels. Basically, okay, okay, okay. Put it like this. If you have 1k on the bank, and you get 5% over it, it's like, whatever. 50 euros. You will put 10k on the bank, boom, you get 500 euros. It's like, if you get fed as Shin, it doesn't really matter. You get like a little bit extra. If you get fed as Gangplank, Jeff Bezos instantly. Does that make sense? Look, now I'm three items. He has call feuds. Remember, he had, he had double longsword when I had this item finished. Now I'm Jeff Bezos, three items. He has call feuds. Level 30 is the biggest spike Gangplank can get. Oh. Always remember to try unless it means with your Qs, with the extra money. You really love Shen? Yeah, bro, Shen is my favorite champion in the game to play. I mean, we're gonna have to revisit him when he comes back with milk. Then we'll play Shen again. I'm not gonna give up on Shen. Yeah, I mean, my passive deals 500 damage and it can crit, right? I thought I need auto Q, but it's just a pass that killed her from half HP. By the way, when you were able to go um, Prowlers on Gangplank, that was the most broken Gangplank. Because you'd be, play be able to play this build, and then you would have Prowlers, you jump on top of them, one shot them. Oh, it skills with crit. I thought it does crit. Okay, it skills with crit. I didn't know that. Well, that's why I'm not the coach. Oh, wait. Oh! I gotta work on my ults. Oh, I thought it got crit. Never mind. It skills with crit. Never mind. Don't listen to me about abilities or items. I'm complete kluggy when it comes to that. But it's fine. I've said that multiple times. When I read the patch note, and they, they, they write down certain numbers, I'm like... Yeah, sure, bro. No, not too shabby. Now nah, I have four items. I still don't understand why the attack range of gang like on un un inhibitors is like so bugged. That's oh, bugged. He's playing the Grasilian. 
Well, I've also had really good teams, so, I mean, the games are easy. I'm sorry, Rankton. One, one, two. Oh, GG. <clears throat> Every time I lose Bash on Shen being weak, I die a little bit inside. I'll get back to Shen, guys, but it's gonna require a little bit of effort, okay? Like, I wasn't enjoying Shen too much. I'm ranked to Master Malphite run when? Whenever I really, really, really. Really am bored. No, this was the second game. Twisted down. We're done, bro. Yeah, Gawil. I mean, unless it's like some super over-sexual emote that I probably won't add it, but any other emote is like fine, yes? Don't be racist too. Don't be racist too. Just go full AP, Malphite to Masters. I mean, there's something with that. What about Olaf? I'm gonna put Olaf in the next poll, maybe. I'm not sure. This is fine. Oh, I need to sign in. Give me a second. Alright. I mean, I'm not gonna leak my password again. Kidding, I've never leaked my password. Fundamentals 1, 2, 3. What do you think of Echo top lane? Bad. That's it. Bad. Nothing else. Just bad. Yo, also Armani. See you. Yorick or Gangplank? I mean, I really like Yorick. But Gangplank is good too. <laughs> the Rise of... Actually, wait. We can watch a video from Lord Dobby. These are always good, right? Lord Dobby's... Lord Dobby. Volley Bear is out of control. Let's watch this. I mean, I made the video on it yesterday too. That champion is absolutely, absolutely broken. <laughs> Look at the healing. Wait a second. Whatever. He's just healing by existing. Like, imagine you actually play that champion for like 50 games so you get decent at it. The zombie Volibear build. I feel like this setup is so unskilled. But yes, he has Eclipse. 1k there. What champion do you think is the weakest early game in top lane? Oh, the weakest early game. Uh, there's a lot. Akali is really bad. Malphite is pretty bad. I mean, he can go W actually. Malphite can fight back. Nasus is bad. Aurelia is bad. Akali is bad. Um, Who are like the worst? Garen, Yorick, Singed. Pretty bad. Actually, things can be strong as well. Kill is not kill is not weak level one, guys. Kill is really broken level one. Very successful player. Would you still let me sub if I was a worm? Yes, bro. Yes, Article One. Yes, yes, I would. Clingy Article One. Still haven't given up, huh?
yes, it is harder to climb on with tanks, especially Shen. Okay, so I'll give you a few reasons. Pui's, thank you for the primer. This is why I'll tell you that why I can't climb on Shen. First things first, even if you snowball on Shen, it doesn't matter. You cannot side lane with Shen and, and pressure because you want to play for team fights, so you're not a split pusher. You can't farm jungle camps because your kit doesn't allow you to. You cannot 2v1 because you only have single target damage, you have no AoE damage. And so your your role as, as Shen is not to... I mean, you can carry games, but it's to be a... Like, I, I don't know. It's not my playstyle, first of all. Like, I could carry with other tanks. I can carry pretty easy with Cyan. I could carry pretty easy with Mundo. Even Orn, I could probably carry more games. But with Shen, it is such a different... Like, it's a unique champion in, in so many ways. And that's the beauty of it. But... And I'll say this too. Like, the, the skill ceiling in Shen is, is high. But the higher elo you get as Shen, the easier it is to win. The lower elo you are... Bro, I... Like, legit... I thought Shen was a decent low elo champion. I would never... Never recommend a lower MMR player to play Shen. I don't think it's worth it. I think you're shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's because you have never seen my patented lethality Shen. Imagine a Mundo or like a Mundo player coming to you and it's like, yeah, so my champ is like a juggernaut, just like, just like tank, but I'm actually gonna play like full, you know, uh, a lethality Mundo because it's the only way I can make my champion work. And, and it's patented, and it's patented. All right, I mean, I'm going to stick with this uh, room page. I think it's consistent. We scale. We're going to be playing against Set, is my assumption here. And it's kind of very similar to Rennington. But Set doesn't have, uh, like, a ability to get close on top of me, right? So it's going to be easier to farm my first strike. And my entire goal in the laning phase with Gangplank. This is your mindset, okay? Listen up. And this is very important. As Gangplank, my mindset heading into this game is to scale. I don't necessarily need to kill my opponent in the early game. In fact, I most likely can't unless he has a stroke and disconnects, okay? So, with that in mind, going even in CS is a win for me because I get gold income through my passive, I get gold income through first strike. Going even is a win, okay? So I'm gonna play my lanes in a way that I can farm even or maybe even get ahead in CS by farming better and then I will be outscaling him because I only need 2.5k gold for my first item. Let's say he buys Tabis and goes to his first item. He, he needs 3. Point or 4k ish, right? So I will spike faster. I will have more gold income. So if I go even, I will be ahead. Does that make sense? Good. Now let me turn on the music. And there we go. All right, sounds like excuses. <laughs> no, but look, I'm playing against one of the strongest level one champions and I'm a weak level one champion, right? Or like early game champion. I shouldn't look for trades with... Uh, Chat, this is your fault. Yes, Chat, this is your fault. Is CHAT! Alex. This is your that guy is fault. Tuquero for all, thank you for the prime. You, he has no potion. I'm gonna ward here, let's focus. I'm just gonna sit on the barrel, and then we're fine. No trading! No fighting! Only farming, okay? I don't want to trade him. Short trades he beats me. Long trades he beats me. Sustain he beats me. But I money, skill! Money. Three Thank weeks ago I saw you eating, drinking those small speculose cookies from a milk carton shaped package. I am happy to announce mine arrived yesterday and they were worth every penny. Dude, really? Really? Sir Kenji, thank you for the... Dude, I actually know what you mean. I mean, there was like a short about it too. Thank you for the five. You really ordered those. What a goat, man. Well, welcome. That's Dutch culture, man. It's good that you enjoyed them. They are good, though. They are really good. Let's go, man. Like, that's amazing. I'm gonna ask them to sponsor me now. I'll sell it. GG. No, but GG, man. That's so nice. Alright, now I'm trading. Oh, wait. But I got... Barrel, Q, and auto attack. So then the trade was actually worth it. 
But he's gonna do a third refresher, and I'm happy to do a third refresher. But guys, I'm not gonna to look for any trades anymore, okay? Because while this wave is pushing towards me, what's gonna happen afterwards? What's gonna happen after this wave crashing to my turret? I'm gonna have to play at the bounce, right? He's gonna reset. So I wanna stay full HP so that I'm healthy enough to play at the bounce. Does that make sense? He should recall. He should recall. No party matters by set. Next wave is gonna move into the turret, but I don't mind that because it's gonna make the bounce easier for me to play. All this is like the 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 scariest part of me in this lightning phase. This portion where the wave is bouncing back into him. You know why it's scary for me? Because whilst the wave is bouncing into the set, I'm forced to walk up for last hits. But look, I get level 4 now, and Seth would need to kill these three melees and one castle to get his level 4. So because he did a third wave crash, I get my level 4 faster, and I'm going to be able to play at the bounce here because he's not close to level 4. Fundamentals, guys. So you see, even though I'm not able to play aggressive in the early game here, I'm still able to apply all the fundamentals. Fundamentals. Gragas is topside, 24 CS. Now I can fight here. He bought a Ruby Crystal. Now I push him in. And I get Lachine on the base. And now what happy. Is Yon top any good? Yes, he is. Is Yon top any good? Thank you for the one, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, guys. Yes, he is. He is really good. We're gonna go in depth here, but I don't mind. Because we're, um... I'm not gonna give any financial advice on the stream. Let's go. We're in depth, but now we TP back. In fact, I didn't have to TP. This TP is absolutely worthless for multiple reasons. I cannot hold him here because he's level 5. I should have just walked back to lane. I'm griefing. Because even though I TP'd here, I'm not gonna be able to stop him from getting this wave in. And I didn't... Like, I lost out on those two melees, but I was gonna lose out on them anyway. So I just wasted my TP. And I'm gonna blame... Bukowski for doing the one dollar donation because he turned off my brain making me reply. So it's your fault actually. It's your fault But thank you for the one bro. I appreciate it, man Play some movements. All right, I got you. All right, I got you. Give me a second Are right, you distracted me from that last hit too? Sheen for the All right, give me a second first I'm trying to ask for movements there we go. Mr. Tukero Furlan. I got you, boss. All right, let's focus. Guys, this is another scenario where we are going to be vulnerable. Why are we vulnerable, chat? Why am I vulnerable? Because I'm forced to walk up for last hit. So what I'm going to do, slow push to build a fat wave. If I need it, I'm going to use my level 6 to just ult the wave and get the crash. Because what happens after the wave crashes? Bounces back into me. Am I vulnerable when the wave bounces back into me? No. Now the next wave is there. This is the one I have to hard push. So I'm going to use everything I got. In the barrel, haha, <laughs> ha, ha, shut up. To get this wave in. Let me crash. Alright, nice. There's gonna be a plant in the river in a second, so I don't have to actually recall, because I can just play with the plant. You guys know who a good coach is? Aloise. Well, no, we take it for the tier 1. And there's the plant. Bomba, fundamentals. Barrel de Roger. Get away from me. Can I get money from that? No. Unlucky. Okay, good. And now this wave is pushing him into me again. I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. I'm full HP because of the plant. All I'm doing, guys, is wave manipulation, jungle tracking, reset timers, plant in the river, fire manage, yada yada yada. GG. And now we freeze in a happy spot. And now, like I said, we're even in CS, right? But I have 70 gold here and I have 92 gold here. I'm outscaling it. Bukowski, thank you for the T1 as well. I appreciate it, boss man. They were the support. I'm not gonna fight here. We shouldn't fight. I'm river. I, I, I'm river. I'm gangplank without ult. I am so weak skirmishing in river. My champion absolutely sucks skirmishing. I don't want to look for these kind of moments. Set gets a kill. It's whatever. I, I can't do anything about it. My team can flame me. They can. I, I really don't care. Gangplank is so bad at farming in these scenarios or fighting. So I'm gonna stay here. Play for myself. 500 gold and I have my full item. He has D shoot and boots, right? So he's already delayed himself with 700 extra gold. I'm gonna have a full item soon and we're gonna be good. Okay, Vex decided to blame jungler instead of top lane, so we're chilling. Alright, chat. So now, what's the next thing I'm thinking about? My next reset. Two options. Either TP, or... Um, just pushing the wave into his turret, right? Because if you push the wave into his turret, it's gonna bounce back again. Oh, he's a bomb, or full extra giant's belt. He's a little bit tanky. No trading! I don't want to trade. 
I just want to farm. I'm probably going to use my ult or my TP to get my reset, but let's see. <laughs> because it's hard to get this wave into his turn, right? It's really hard. Unless he roams. If he roams here, I could maybe look. He just took two plates? Are you kidding me? What is that sh behemoth of a champion? It's fine though, guys, because as long as I farm even, I'm going to, uh, going to outscale, okay? So no panic here. 284. Wait, that's going to one-shot it exactly, no? 284? Calculated, bro. Fundamentals and stuff. Fundamentals and stuff. I'm gonna prioritize my auto attack on this. Wait, now it's 206. Are you kidding me? Inflation. Alright, it's recall now. I got recall now. I got recall now. And uh, we've been farming even. I've never looked for a solo kill, right? What have I done this entire lady phase? Exactly what I said I'd do. Farm even the whole time and play to go even, right? Or I play my waves to go even. No fighting, nothing like this. Just play to go even. And now I have 210 gold here, 111 gold here. That's 300 gold. And we're even in CS. Okay, sure, he does have two plates. But from this point onwards, I can start one-shotting waves. And now I can get some kill pressure. That's a little bit faster, Leah. You could have definitely waited with that. There we go. Okay, I'm very happy the Vex doesn't stay here. Well, Seth made the first mistake. And I'll never run out of mana anymore. And now we're gonna start harvesting the money, baby. Mute it. Shut up! Also, by the way, what you can do is use two barrels like this, and then you Q, auto, and I failed it. Alright. Oh, look at me. For the gangplank players that know what I try to do, don't expose me. Danke schön. All right, level nine. Now we get full money from our barrel. Bomba. And we're going to recall because I can buy double crit cloak. And we're chilling. What happened to the shine climb? Watch shine climb. It took, took milk. All right. This, this, I w could TP behind here. I will TP behind here. They see me or what? Is <laughs> I will uh, get this now, and uh, this now. All right, I'm never really quite sure, Barrel or Lantern, yes. I'm never really quite sure to make these type of TP plays with Gangplank before level 13, because my Barrel takes so long to stack, right? At level seven, your Barrel doesn't come out that fast yet. So that's always one thing. That's why I don't really like to skirmish in the river and stuff like that with Gangplank. Yeah, as Gangplank, you really just want to be safe. This W is gonna get massive here. He's kind of griefing, no? I think he's, also, he's like watching a Bows or something. Oh. Oh. Shem would never get that cannon. What place am I listening to? Sure, I'll go for this one. Why not? Alright, let's keep it the focus, though. They have six drops and dragon. Oh, wait. We keep stacking our gold now, though. Like I said, after the laning phase I and mean, after we've established a... That, like, that, like... That safe position in the laning phase. Then we're chilling, right? I'm gonna wait for a passive. And then I'm gonna hit the barrel. So W for the sheen, passive. Q another passive. Lovely. Sorry. Can't speak. <sighs> Always watch your back. Would Shen wave clear like that, chat? Would Shen wave clear like that? 
I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Save barrel here. Oh, The biscuit was toxic. Food poisoning. Food poisoning biscuit. Do not go for the biscuit. And now he gets my turn. Scheiss! My bad though. My bad though. Who got set? set? Ay, 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 ay. So here, guys, me going for this plate, okay? So first things first. I'm gonna lose a cannon wave. 200 gold. I am going to lose my shutdown. 1k gold. I'm going to, He's going to get this turret. 600 gold. I lose like 2,000 gold dying here. That's how bad this death is. But it doesn't matter because I'm Shen. Oh, it's Gangplank and not Shen. Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe I won't lose the cannon wave. All right, we saved 200 gold. Let's go. Uh oh. Bro, he's a little bit tanky. Alright, nice. I can go for the turret now too. But the turret plate is gone. That's fine, we're gonna have this item. And then we need to get something with health shred. Wait, does this give... I mean, this is more damage and lower health I have, right? But nothing else. Okay, no, it does deal 50%. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have old, but... I don't think it's necessary. Uh, buff gameplay gold. He listens! He listens! Oh! No way! Look at this wave! Well, about one too many crit cloaks. He actually listens! Oh, that's crazy! An 80 carat listens! I mean, you should maybe collect this wave. Actually, no, it's good that he's mid. No, it's honorably good that he mid, by the way. All right, guys, we're going to go into vacuum cleaner mode, okay? Vacuum cleaner mode means we're going to take every side camp, every jungle camp till we're level 13, and then we're going to take over the game. That's my job right now, and get as many gold as I can. Vacuum cleaner mode. Why doesn't it crit? Solar bucket would crit there. What? It's 70%, man! Oh my! Nah, you guys live, by the way. Or actually, come here. What a scam and a half, by the way, there. Like, five times. Alright, let's place the blue trinket for safety. Because enemy team is winning pretty hard, so we gotta be a little bit careful with the vacuum cleaner mode. Alright, let's run. 70% crit. Doesn't crit any time. Alright. How does he have Titanic? It's legit the one time when I gave him the shutdown and he got the tier 1 turret. Like, he is actually on par in gold with me. Like, the items that he has are not cheap. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we need level 13 really badly. I need level 13 really badly so my battles come up faster. This is gonna be a good game to practice. Yo, Tyson, good to see you, brother. I'm scared for Gragas to look for me. Okay, Gragas is top. We're getting close to level 13. Shane could have fought that. Yeah, your mom too. Kidding, bro. Kidding, bro. You can W that shit. High key, I just pressed W for fun though, and it looked really perfect, but I high key just pressed it because I wanted to heal. And I forget that you can W his ult, so uh, I may or may not have just locked out there, but let's just act like I did that intentional, okay, chat? Handshake? Handshake. Alright. Now we're gonna push this lead though. I'm not gonna have many timers when I'm actually gonna be killing my opponent's side lane, so I, I don't know where enemy jungle is at, but I'm just gonna risk it here for the biscuit. Where did we hear that before?
I'm gonna act like I'm running away. Souls are not making it obvious at all. Nice one. You fat pig! Sorry. Happens. How are we doing today, pretty good man? Good to see you, man. Mm. Nice threat! Look, Thresh boosted as. Oh, that's a banger. Oh, shit. Get him. 40,000 leader, get him. I mean, I actually I got a death and top. If I go bot tier for the bot tier one, which I would want to do, I would lose the top tier two, which is too much. Okay, bros, we will, we will win, bros. Let's win. <laughs> That's like not much. It's like telling somebody to calm down when they're angry. Look, they muted themselves. <laughs> Okay, nice. Alright, now we just need to one-shot some people, but why does he have Edge of Night? How cringe is that? Okay, now we finally have this, finally. So I do so much more. <gasps> I do 50% more damage, which is good. Okay, one more time, one more. Hmm. We're gonna go bot lane here, chat. If enemy team plays for Nash, we're gonna have to TP, but I can play for the bot tier 1. I'm gonna play for Dragon in 20 seconds, so they might come for me. The odds of them coming for me are so high, I'm gonna have to dip here. But look, gameplay can wave clear waves like that. Shen couldn't. Alright, risk it for the biscuit. Two safe barrels here, behind me. Running. Hey, we're se, 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 75%! Doesn't crit. Happens. It's only 75%. I can understand it. I can understand it. I can understand it. Not too shabby. Oh, this guy just keeps pushing. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm permabanning you. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I really died three times like that, huh? Hmm, I see a pattern too. You're kind of right. They were primer though. All right, let's run. Bro, this guy's split pushing potential is actually crazy with the crest and held demolish. What? I have item. He took Death's daughter? Is that bad? It's good, no? This one is like shit. Isn't it? Giving movement speed to my allies. What allies? Shen would have saved the Vex there. She doesn't want me to take the camp. Okay, my bad, bro. This guy's no flesh, and this guy's no flesh. So that's something we can really use. Okay, we gotta focus here, chat. Okay, 
If they walk into me, I can just one-shot them, right? Yo, Solar Bucket, good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. How you doing, boss? This guy's no flesh either. But now I'm nervous! Baka's watching. Shit. I've trained for this. I got just zoned them away from this Baron. I got Edge of Night. I walked into it. Okay, no crit, no biggie. Oh! Why does he still have vision? Winnable though. I did all right. I should have pr probably should have gone for the auto attack on the on the set though. Hugo the pro is uh, pretty scary, man. That Hugo guy. Shit. Okay, guys, look. I type it one more time. I type it one more time to the bros. I gotta take position here. I'm gonna go red trinket now. So when they walk into me, I can actually be a surprising factor. I'll go for red blue, blue uh, red potion too. Wait, Jin is bot. We can definitely have tempo to this. I do Nash super super fast. I'm gonna TP mid here. If I can just one-shot one target also, I... We're good here though. Why don't I crit? There we go. Head to you, Mac. Thank you for the primer, bro. Good to see you, boss. Off my champion. It's weak. Alright, now we should do this. They should start, and I'm gonna wait in here. Go. Jin didn't recall yet. Jin didn't recall after after the last fight we had. Jin has not recalled yet. What? Don't they know I'm here? Wait, do the Nash, man. Thresher should have been taking this Nash for forever. What's going on here? Oh, shit, man. What's even going on? I'm losing track. Why is everybody dead? Oh, please. Hugo! Get him, Hugo! Okay, we got Hugo. What's going on? I can't even say anything educational, bro. I just have to focus, lock in. Everybody's a criminal. Everybody's a complete criminal. This guy hadn't recalled after the fight before because he had to push a bolt wave. This guy's gonna get, come back with like a full infinity edge. I pressed tab before heading into the fight though. Remember, I always tell you guys how important it is to keep track of items. Like, this guy is a full item in base. Minimum. He's a Russian bank lord. I mean, he's battles shit. Can I walk in here? I'm so scared to face like this. Getting my Mac Bombard. Uh, my Bombard too, bit. Time to run, I think. Well, would Shen wave there like that? Don't think so. Okay, Hucho's coming. C is a full item in base, told you. How can win? My teams are picks! How can win? He didn't ward over the wall. Wait a second. Ah. <laughs> no! No, 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 Hugo, come, 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 come down, Hugo, come down, Hugo. Ah, I'm getting a flash over here, bro. Whew. Get him. Okay! I'm gonna flip it here. Please don't have flesh. Everyone 
Why? Why do I even do that? I should like TP. Never mind, it's fine. Okay, how do we finalize finalize the build here? This item. I'm already tired, bro. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. I really don't want to lose games because I feel like it ruins your MR so stupid hard. And we stuck in Emerald for 55 games as well. Well, it's fine. I got Seth's Flesh. It's worth. The problem with the set is that he's perma split pushing and it's so hard for me to progress on the map because of that. I have to like always deal with the set first. Okay, we got four or four moons, but not too shabby. Oh, Hucho's doing things again. Oh, watch this. Okay, we gotta stay focused. I gotta deal with Set first. He has no flesh now, at least. And Grax is no flesh. Both of flesh. That's good. Wait, I don't even have 10 cents per minute, by the way. But it's been hard to farm with how fat enemy team is. I have Vex Flesh, but we need Lilia Flesh. Once Lilia has Flesh, I think team fights are 10 times easier. Why are you trying to sidestep a Valkos ult instead of walking out of it? You absolute moron! Let me sidestep the Valkos ult! Smiley face. Let's win! I'm like Sion Q here. The reason I want Aloys to say is because he's Fastest smart. triple barrel comb you guys have ever seen in live, by the way. Alex, thank you for the primer. I appreciate it. That one was good, too. Okay, gotta work on the barrels. Watch this. I'm gonna channel in their solar pocket. Give me a second, though. Okay, watch this. I lagged. Oh, lucky. Okay, never mind. Let's just do normal barrels. I blinked and I missed a triple barrel. Exactly, bro. I don't know how to carry this game. I need like a good barrel. I don't know. I don't know how to get barrels from this angle, man. I should have saved my W, huh? Oh, don't say goodbye! Don't say goodbye! He wants to bomb me! No! Ow! Nah, man, this one was just unwinnable, man. I mean, it probably was winnable, but... I made some... Like, my deaths were bad, too. I gave Seth so much gold. This set setup looks disgusting, though, man. He is so stupid tanky. Alright, well, I could have done better. Better toxic than bad. <laughs> Winnable of Shen was picked. Pound your burrito. Wrong, but, but, look at my burrito. Sure, oh, it's cold. Okay, it's time to consume this burrito before it gets colder. It's getting cold already, so my mouth is already watering. I'm going to quickly turn on why Volibear is out of control whilst I consume this burrito. If you're asking what's on the burrito, I mean, it's a good question. I've got white rice, no beans, because I hate beans. I don't hate beans, I just wasn't in the mood for beans. I don't like beans. Beans are not that nice. Double portion of chicken, vegetables, goat cheese, double portion and guacamole, and creamy chipotle mayo. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right.
The reason I want Alois to say is because he's freak show. David Prime. Seriously. And this is the hidden part. Look at this goat cheese here. Like, I mean, like, here. You see, there's like this white stuff? It's like goat cheese. It's so good, bro. It's so good. Trust me. It's so incredibly good. Full 1v9. Alright. Wait, what? Okay, I'll watch this in a second. I want to watch a full bear video first. Bro, look at how thick this thing is now, because everything like sinks to the bottom. Look how fat this thing is now, man. It's barely edible, but it's amazing, man. This is by far the best burrito place to exist on planet Earth. It's so good. Okay, better make go. There are no veggies? I do have veggies. But I have so much goat cheese, look. I don't know how good you guys can see it, but there's vegetables. Rice, chicken, and goat cheese mainly. Bro, it's so good. It is so incredibly good, I don't know, man. I'm gonna be so full, I'm gonna have full food coming, but it's okay, be right back. I'm gonna finish this thing. But look, look how thick this thing is, man. Like, it is crazy. Yorick! Shit. Ah... Uh... Plank, plank. No. No. Let's focus. Okay, be right back. Oh, I'm getting full. But I won't stop eating.
You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is good. Mmm, mmm. Money, money. Coach, you should listen to Panda. It is a rock band in Mexico. They have good music. Our Zoe. <sighs> Thank you, Rob, for the three. You can send me a song, I'll check it out. Bro, my belly has just increased in size twice. Okay, um. Let me turn this on first. Thank you, Isaac Smoldix, for the tier one as well. I appreciate it, man. Oh, I need a zip of water after that. Man, that burrito. 10 out of 10. All right, let's focus now, though. We're playing as Yorick. He's playing Ghost P. Okay, well, nice cheese by him. I as well play it. Okay, it's really good that he's there by him. Okay, my bad. Uh, I should have prepped this level one. I should ward this, but it's okay. I'll still look for priority. This is a matchup where I actually... Where I... Whatever I can speak. Where I can actually look for priority in the early game. Alright, I'm gonna get destroyed. Resetting my passive with that one. Okay, look at, look at, always look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Who is this guy? Hey, who is this guy? Hey, who? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I do actually get gold from his ghouls, though. Okay, his ease back. Well, guys, this is why you're focused loading into the game at level one and don't play like I do. My game is really screwed here. My bad. Really? Oh my days. I got a recall. Really, really bad early game here. Can I buy coal? Nope, I'm gonna stay done. Bro, Ed, Ed, and Eddie used to be on my side, chat. Ed, Ed, and Eddie used to be on my side. Now they have joined the dark side and they've teamed up with that Jorik. Dive me. Won't you join the sharks? I'm gonna hit level four here. Does he know? Bro, I'm this guy is pretty good, man. This guy's good. We gotta have to really look in here. We have to really gonna look in. I no way, man. I'm ten years down. Holy shit. Well played by him. <clears throat> it's time to scale. I didn't even use that when I was playing Yorick. You should be recalling the now, man, huh? I just want to secure that I've seen on my next recall. Yeah, we're already so much farm down, guys. It's gonna be tricky here. He has no flesh. Gragas could just flesh over the wall and eat him. But no. It's a... Uh...
He's gonna hit level six here, by the way. Oh, his healing is so crazy. But he doesn't have enough mana for to spawn the maiden, I think. He needs 100 mana to spawn the maiden. He's gonna do that though. If I'm him, I would just I would spawn it here. My wave is in a bad spot. I could get a game by Nocturne as well. Oh, nice. Ah. This guy just doesn't miss his ease, does he? I don't think he can push in this wave and this wave before I'm back, though. Oh, no, he can. He's at the Neddy. Okay, I get my reset in at least. I should still be in time. Nice. This reset was really important. This reset was extremely important to get off. Because the wave is pushing into me and I'm not going to lose much here. Nice. Okay. <coughs> With Rafa, did you send this? So you are the fucker, bro. Okay, lost the plate. Beautiful. Alright, we're 7 CS down. Not the worst, actually. And that's just because I got that one reset down, right? He just hit level 7, so he's a little bit ahead of me XP, but like, a very tiny bit. We've definitely recovered. He has no potion, so any poke that I could do is really massive. I got a hyper focus on dodging his ease. Nice. No, he's in a good spot. He might be going for plant. This is a song again that Brace sent. The most gameplay song ever. F King Yorick, man. Lost more than half my HP by 1E. That's just how it goes. This Yorick is pretty good. I at least get my TP in 60 seconds. I'm gonna last at this. 50 gold. Okay, well that's really nice that I got a gank. Bro, you don't need to push this though, like what? Bro, you took the kill already. Why do you take the entire wave, man? You took the kill already. Like, I'm, th I'm happy, but like now it's not even worth it for me almost because he takes the entire wave. That's what it is. At least I don't have to spend my TP. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep... I'm not gonna go into depth. I'm just gonna keep my gold here. And I'll recall in a second and then get it. Maybe I should have gone crit log longsword as well here, actually. I should have gone crit log longsword. Oh, it's all right though. I actually don't like this type of music. It's it's not really for me. Alright, it's good I keep my TP though. Use the W for one Sheen proc and get one extra one like that. I think the W Sheen proc actually gets me the kill there, so I flash out of his W range. And keep in mind, if you barrel auto Q, it's a very good timing right there, right? You saw that? Barrel auto Q is very consistent. That's the reason I got the kill as well. I can play for two plates here, because I'm going to get my plate. I'm going to W, actually I'm going to E for Sheen proc. going to wait for my passive. And then I'll hit the barrel. So passive, barrel, get my passive again, get two passive procs. One more Sheen proc. Beautiful. York does not have TP, so what I can do here is Q it like this. And then get my next barrel. I'm watching everything. Alright, rough up. You can send the link here.
All right, let's dip. He is super delayed at items now. He's doing the Yorick build where he's gonna go Dirk into Tiamat. So his Tiamat is gonna go into um, Profane Hydra, right? But he delayed his Fire Spike with 1k gold here. So it's gonna take him a shit long time to finish his full item. I don't know, of course, because I played my fair share of Yorick. So um, right now we have our full item. I can one-shot waves. And I'm just gonna be able to get a lot more gold than him permanently on every wave, right? And I also really want to look to proc my first strike on him as much, often as I can. Every waves gives me 42 extra gold. 42 extra gold, right? So that's massive. If I also get a little bit of gold from first strike, every wave is almost two waves. Okay, that's over-exaggerating, but like... A normal wave gives you around 100 gold, but with my passive I get 42 extra gold. Can I one-shot the goose? No, I thought so. I can only Q the ghouls. It does will it will give me seven extra gold though if I Q a ghoul. If I look if I Q this ghoul, I get seven extra gold. Right? So that's pretty good. I took it. Matt? I'm gonna push this wave so it will bounce back into me. My champion is really bad to fight in the rivers, keep that in mind. I rarely will be fighting in the rivers throughout this entire climb, okay? I'm gonna wait for my Q, 7 extra gold. You don't want to fight in the river as this champion. <clears throat> he has Maiden, Ed, Ed, Eddie and Edgar, so I gotta be careful. Gonna be one-shotting waves though. Boys, calls on two. I have ult. And like, even though I'm just farming waves equal with Yorick, I'm fine with it because I'm getting so much more gold income than he is, right? Seven extra gold there. Nine gold, actually. I gave him the W reset too, the Treacher Sana. Maybe she lives because of the W reset. No, she's dead. All right. First strike money. Just trying to maximize my gold income here. Cool soon. I'm gonna have my second item already before he has his first, right? So even though I'm just farming even with this Yorick, we're completely farming even. First strike money, plus passive money. So this is almost 500, this is 250 gold. That's why I, I just get so much more fat. In-game IRL. Uh oh. There's the call. There we go. I'm gonna keep queuing these small. Oh, actually, I'm gonna queue him now for first strike. I think a ghoul hit me, so I didn't get first strike. That sucks. Alright, we have our second item now. Now I really wanna look for kills on him. <clears throat> oh, actually, yeah. Yorick walk mid, I think. It's gonna mean a full turret for me. It's a mistake by the Yorick. Sure, Yorick gets a kill here, but I'm gonna get the full turret, so it's worth it. That's a goner, no? Oh, I had to hit that one. I 
I gotta get rid of the maiden man. Okay. Finally, that effing thing is gone. There's no ghost, no old now. Uh oh. Holy shit, is that guy fast? I mean, they're still gonna dive me. I hit my Q wrong. Nice. Okay, I'm getting so much gold, right? Well, that's the thing with gameplay, you just gotta play so reserved. My level 1, my early game was super bad. My first four waves were super bad, but look, I've said this before, right? Oh, if you farm uh, even as gangplank so we're even in farm i got the lucky kill with my ult and some random skirmishes nap time sleep with even a prime but look here's one and a half items i'm two full items and i'm 1700 gold again so i am basically i mean how much gold did i get from this 600 and 250. wait i can kill him here maybe okay the blue trigger bait didn't work chat now what I think this Yorick is like really good actually. I think this Grog is like really shit actually. I think this gameplay is like cancer bad actually. I think this gameplay is like really good actually. Alright, let's go. Sorry for my language, my bad. Alright, we got three items now. That's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Clean this mechanics on the rift. Gameplay could look... I meant Nocturne. Oh, he's mid, okay, nice. Time to Rico, baby. <coughs> I'll buy until. Okay, this Nocturne can always jump on me, so I'm probably gonna need to buy this Immortal Shield Bow. Because that guy can always one shot me. She did that to me earlier. Oh, I should go top actually. I don't wanna give it. I'm a greedy pig for taking that midwife. I'm such a pig. What a godsend did you just purchase? Oh sh it's anti-heal. Don't you know the anti-heal strategy against Yorick? What did I do, Solomak? What did I do? What did I do, man? I'm so sorry. <sighs> he hit he hit my barrel accidentally there even. Watch this value from anti-heal. Baka, you just don't know about it. Wait a second, wait a second, it's a fadeaway, it's the fadeaway, it's the fadeaway. Keep the weather eye out. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Maybe if I did 15%... I don't know. I like. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. What else should I... Collector? Oh, Collector would have been pretty good, huh? Maybe. Maybe, actually. Maybe it would have been good, actually. It's alright. It's okay. We blame inexperience. We blame inexperience. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm permanent. Better they were gifting Mr. Solaka oh Solabaka. Okay, but but like why why are uh, Mr. Mr. Solabaka? Are you like uh Hind Miss Captain Hindsight? Why do you tell me to buy Cor Tell me to buy collector earlier? Oh my days. Why did you tell me to buy collector, man? Should I collect her? Now what? Now what? I have anti heal for him. <laughs> 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 
Why do his goose give me seven extra gold, but grubs don't? What is that bullshit? Uh, I'm just gonna farm some camps here. The reason I want Aloys to say is because he's smart and people take him seriously. Let's go, boy. Thank you, man. Uh, what can I do again? Am I just hard stuck again, by the way? Looks like it. I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna collect it now, man. I don't want to hear it, all guys. Like I really don't want to hear it. Okay, you don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. Let a man learn. Bro, should you scream for like a full minute? Yes, your mom has been on my WhatsApp for like twenty days already. Sorry. I'll focus on the gameplay and play better. I'll do better. I'll be better. I'll do better. Okay, nice. No, we are still ahead of the items, chat. We've done that right. Alright, that guy's a griever. That's good too. I wanna push our bot. Lord Erectus, why are you mid? Why are you bot? I can't let this slide. I really gotta learn to do like the... Whatever, man. Okay, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Bomba. <clears throat> Next time I'll get him. I know how to do it though. Just need some patience. I'm scared of Notre Node. Money, money. My building's fire alarm went off and is saying to leave the building, but I'm halfway through the game that will get me to master. Wait, if I'm I AFK, ward. it's because I am on fire. Please die. What did you even say? Mystic, my building's fire alarm went off and I say to leave the building, but I'm halfway through the game. You ma you killed me in game with that ma no I'm kidding bro thank you for the two uh, I hope you make it out alive I hope you're good okay everybody's everybody in chat is backseat gaming me listen 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 for all my piggy gameplay mains here I will learn okay give me some give me some time I get, need good music uh, what's good music this one's good. All right. Never trust a rat. Five, six, seven. First time chatter. Don't play that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't directed to me. Sorry, Faz. Love you, man. Welcome. Hope to see you again, brother. My gang, my Grag's just farming sideways casually at minute uh, 24, like, uh, go, can you go like to Nash? Alright, let's get Collector and collect some heads. Kai says, walking shut down. Barrel combo now? Okay, watch this. Okay, watch this. You guys ready? Watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Optimized barrel combo right there. Woo! 
take one piggy with me. Missed every barrel, but there at the end, I did auto, barrel auto. And I one-shot him. Let's go. Oh, Pedro there, just watched it. Pedro the Mean is just standing there. Bystander, bystander. Nice. Imagine, so this, this champion can do so much damage, but you have to land your barrels. That's the hard part. Uh, is anybody gonna stop him? Or like, um... We're just gonna let this slide? Or like, you know... Just, just ask like, OH SHIT! OH SHIT! We didn't see that for like five minutes! OH SHIT! Oh! Oh, you flash! It happens. Faster. The song is called Faster. I can't complain though, I'm a pig myself. Shouldn't be hard to win games, let's focus. Uh, how many times have, that I've already said, let's focus? Nocho is gonna ult me, but I'm ready. Okay, never mind, I'm not ready. Nocho is four items strong. Guys has four items. Why is Kogma bot lane? We need you mid lane. What's people obsession with being bot around this time around the map? Our base, uh oh. Is this toxic, man? A slow death will be their reward. Can I run? Can I start running? Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, nice. What? Oh, okay, we gotta go a second. I gotta deal with this York, by the way. Holy shit, this York an annoying champion to play against. I know how people feel now. My vengeance will be bloody. Everyone pays. Yeah, that doesn't work, buddy. Okay, Yarok is going top. I gotta stop this guy. Nice. My team did something well though. Machistana and Kukma are scaling really hard into the game. I have flash. I feel like I'm strong enough to kill him. Okay, my old cooldown is 80. Killing the only way to survive. He'll have reason. 
Okay. Yo, Splitting, good to see you, bro. I got four items here, four items here. Oh, imagine that lens. This <laughs> is just going solo. What a goat. Lord Erectus! Lord Erectus with the play. Look at this true damage. Vega's gonna steal it, isn't he? Okay. Crit battle. Oh! Guys, I can't be talking about education because I just have to learn myself, man. Like, I talk so much about Ladyface, but at this point in the game, I, I just have to focus and, like, play on the moments. Okay, nice. Two minutes for soul. Nobody made a team as Flesh, only me. So anybody is a target for Nocturne, especially Kogma. We have bot in him again. My first priority would be to stop the... Would be to stop the what's his name Yorick, so he can't split push. I win the side against Yorick. I just gotta stop him, and then we're always chilling. I'm surprised this Yorick hasn't like face checked me once. Like he's actually playing so well. Yeah, for uh, GP is good. GP is good. I knew I'd be suffering if I was shen this game. Let's be serious. Guys has full build, so that's pretty scary. This Yorick has been avoiding me the whole game, so like his macro like is is really good. Oh shit! I can TP. Oh wait. If I, if I press W, I remove the thing and I can TP and I kill myself. Yeah, with W, I can remove the Nocturne ult. <gasps> oh! No, I just lost the game doing that. Oh, no, I, I, I need to go. No. 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 Yeah, as Solar Baka would say, I'm a really bad person. I am a really bad person. Ah, <laughs> uh, this item's kind of useless, maybe. Yo, Walmart Super, thank you for 100 bits. I noticed you are learning GP. I would recommend watching a master in it streaming like Tonka T1. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna learn the game by watching Mr. Tyler 1. <laughs> That's a banger, though. Oh, guys. I don't know how to win this game now.
Somebody's dead mid. Kogmo, no flash, he's dead for sure. I need to press my W insta on the Nocturne ult, I keep forgetting. Is Edge of Night. I feel like I should maybe get Edge of Night as well. Action now, it's pretty useless. Dude, he almost lost all his HP to his African goose. Where are you walking, buddy? This music is a little bit too much for me. Thank you, it's over. Finally. I think we, this Camille's not the man we should be sending to the Yorick. Okay. We can play Nash, two minutes for soul. Alright, let's go. Okay, this music is too much for me, man. This way music is way too much. So chill music. Oh, it's all done. Wow, that range. Give me all this. Oh! Another voice in the cacophony of war. MB. We don't have any sums, please don't be dying. The end. Okay, Kogma is for chilling. Not sure Flash is massive. Nice, we can play for Soul. I don't win the one vote against Jordan right now, that's for certain. I do have Flash though. Okay, yeah. I mean, Kaisa and Yorick are my biggest threats. Nocturne won't be in the fight instantly. I'd be careful face checking that. This guy doesn't care. He even has super. I'm gonna push in this wave already. Oh, I gotta dodge this man. Next one, like, one shots me. This creature champion. Yorick can also TP here, which is also what I'm scared of. If I'm Yorick, I would TP top here. 
What is that guy doing? We gotta defend the base, because Jordan can TP, and it's like inside GG. I'm baiting. Baiting, by the way. Professional baiter. Told you. Told you. Told you I'm baiting. Told you I'm baiting. Did I tell you I pushed this wave in advance? Did I tell you guys? No problem. No problem, bro. Flesh hit the Maokai to mind control them. That's what happened there. For reference. For reference. Just in case if you're confused, you know. Okay, we have soul now. I don't think we can end though, can we? Can we? We can. Oh. Uh, no, we can't. No, we can't. No, we cannot. Maybe I should have just went mid instantly and never pushed bot. I probably should have just went mid instantly and never went bot. I'm a greedy pig again. Or my team should have come bot because of the wave there instantly. No, I think my team should have come bot instantly. I'm actually not sure. This guy's this guy's gonna go try and expect it. He's Lichman. He's like I'm him. He's gonna be him. He's going there. Oh shit! Wait, there's three people here. It's only Maokai defending. Shao Wu Jin Shen. Shao Wu Jin Shen. Shao Wu Jin Shen. All right, bro, stepping. Shao Wuji Shen! Bomba! Oh! The base! The base! Oh! It's only Vega. We're chilling, right? Surely we're chilling. I've got TP. I don't have TP. If only I had TP. Where's Vega? Can we end? Guys, I'm scared to take back door. No, they can't backdoor, okay, okay. Shao Wuji Shen! Camille, come! You've seen Vagar, man! You've seen Vagar! He's like, where's Vagar? I'm the fan for Vagar! I'm baiting, I'm baiting again, I'm baiting again, though. I'm baiting again, though, I'm baiting again, though. Not gonna hit, not gonna hit. Hit the Nexus, hit the Nexus, Shusana. just hit Nexus. Easiest game of life. Not even close. Easy game of life. Easy. By Lord Erectus himself. Maybe it's not the Shen issue. Maybe it's actually not the Shen issue. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the issue. Alright, Rafa sent me this song. What's this song? I'll try it. Maybe I'm the issue, guys. Maybe it's not the Shen issue. I'm gonna wait with the song though. What was this? I, I wanted to see this. What was this April Fool's League of Legends thing? One second.
No way. <clears throat> Why can they make all these things nice and why can't the client just work? Kidding. Let's jump right, let's go. <laughs> Loses Q is active for this match. Whoever invented that one was probably laughing. So hard. That is actually a banger. Loses Q is active for this match. Did you know Casante has... <laughs> I like it. It's pretty it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So what was this song? Mikov, you can send me your song by the way. I don't know the language. Yo, World Tree. I like their draft. They don't have a lot of dashes. This is a good gameplay game for sure. Yo, Rough Up, are you still here? The song is a banger, man. I think it's Brazilian. Here. Oh, guys, listen. This I, this is one of my favorite matchups in the game because it's the inting champion, right? The champion with like the highest deaths against the champion that guys the, gets the highest gold income in the game. So you already know we're gonna switch the rune plates to bank plank, and we do the biggest inting champion against the highest gold champion. This is what I like. This is what I like. Okay. I don't know if it's Brazilian or Spanish. I don't speak either, so whoever knows the language knows. I don't know. If you lose now, report it. All right, Valway underscore. I got your boss. Okay, remind me what NAR is. A use your sack of rascal shit. Run it back, Turbo. No, I don't know. Alright, Walmart Super, my bad, bro. Hey, Walmart Super, instead of flaming streamer, how about you you uh, get the guy that hacked my account and do like... <laughs> Kidding. You're gonna meme me for getting hacked in the first place. Never mind, Walmart to Rob Soda. I said nothing, I said nothing, I said nothing. I hope you're say Brazilian. I said I don't know if it's Brazilian or Spanish, bro. How about... Wait, wait. Portuguese. Oh my, I know what you mean now. Guys, I haven't meant, like, I said Brazilian. <laughs> Wait, I said Brazilian. Guys, 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 listen. Listen. Nah, this... Guys. Chat free giveaway! Exclamation mark Arcana! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, your moms. 
Yo, anybody in chat speaks Brazilian? Anybody speaks Brazilian? It's fine, Brazilian is its own dialect. That's what I meant. I speak the Brazilian dialect. Bro, imagine Walmart super times SRA Arcana, you little piggy. <laughs> Look. Bro, we play this Brazilian song one more time. We play this Brazilian song one more time. It's a banger. Alright, let's focus though. Okay, chat, we're gonna do the thing that every gangrene player does, which is sit in the bush with a barrel. That's it. Free giveaway type estimation work fundamentals. Money, money. Money, money. Money, money. Money, money. Money, money. He wants to recall, but I'm gonna act like I have a second barrel here. Focus. Okay, actually focus though, actually focus though. Goodbye, Youngler. More oh, oh. <laughs> Passive burn, baby. He flashed away from means too. Look at him. <laughs> well, proc first strike. Can he die? Hello. Oh, he's fuming! Oh, he is so mad! And now he's pushing it to me now! Thank you, Sion! Alright, check what we're gonna do to go back to education. This way he's pushing back into me, but remember... Whenever the way he's pushing into you... After way afterwards, the way he's gonna have to bounce away from me again as well, right? And since I'm already half HP, the way I'm gonna play out the bounce is by just TPing back, okay? So I'm gonna let this crash into my turret, and then I'll probably recall TP back so that I can play out the bounce like that. Else it's plain impossible for me to play out the bounce here. Kate is looking for the gank though. I'm not sure how much I like it. One million for level four. Oh, he cancelled his auto! What? No! Can't cancel his auto! Bro, I've never been baited that hard by my own jungler. That guy's a genius. Do you guys see that? Holy shit, well, I respect it. I respect that, I respect that. Do we buy coal and go in depth? No. We're gonna rush this. And TP back. Look at this, I only like 1.2, 1.3 for my item. This guy's not gonna have any gold and I'm already gonna be Bill Gates. Wait, how's the wave pushing into me? What did he do again? And remember, we're playing bank play, guys. We're playing for treasure on the stacks too. Look, he has boots. I'm already full build. I don't you see, so I first strike. Money, money. Money, money. Boys, plus 27. I got first strike again. Out of my way. 
There's no flash. Look at the face. Oh. We have old treasure hunter, treasure hunter, treasure hunter. Treasure hunter. Treasure hunter, baby. Give me that shit. Assist. Plus 70 gold, baby. Treasure hunter. Bank of Planku. My smolder is pinging me because she thinks I saved her life. Sure, bro. It was for sure with the thought of saving your life. Wasted flesh, not worst. Um, streamer! Uh, st streamer! You wasted flesh there. Please give me the plate. Thank you. We have item. Six minute item, let's go. <clears throat> Alright, let's focus. Well, chat, uh, yeah, I have my item at minute six. I can one short minutes now, let's go. Permanent mana, we're chilling now. This is, I mean, the full bank, like, bank plank setup into sign is just too good. Streamer, you wasted the burrito by not having beans on it. Okay, t ch chat, type one in chat if you would rather have beans on your burrito. Type two in chat if you would rather not. Why is everybody typing one? Well, everybody that typed one gets a perma band. So there's that. I don't make the rules. Honestly, I do. You do not eat. I mean, I mean, actually, I shouldn't talk about burritos. I'm a Dutch guy. I eat cheese and stuff. Although I'm lactose intolerant. I'm a Dutch guy that has an identity crisis and talks about burritos when he can't even eat cheese. So I guess I'll actually shut my mouth. In this one, I'll be humbled, okay? I'll shut my mouth about this one. I won't make a comment about it. I won't make, I won't make any remarks about it. You guys eat beans, so you beans, it's alright. You like food poisoning, you do you. You like to smell like shit, it's okay too. I won't comment on it, bro. I won't comment on it. I won't comment on it, guys. I won't comment on it. Well, coach, as a Mexican and burrito creator colony, I have to tell you that burrito has beans and guacamole. I took the guacamole and skipped the beans. Also, out of respect for you, one more time this song, Mr. Rafa. They were on your bits, though. Appreciate it, boys. But do you speak any Mexican? No, I only speak Brazilian. If you know what I mean. We don't have to do this. Wait, the first strike, wait the first strike. Come here, come here, come here. No. What? Hey! Hey! Yo, Jessix, Capsalon's on the cars, bro. Allergies. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. I need a skill. Oh. Why can't I TP? Because it's not time yet. Okay. With all you killed her, emo. I am backseat gamer. Well, my super. Good to see you, bro. Yo, Pota, yo, thank you for the raid, bro. I didn't see. Yo, Pota, I'll be on the main stream, boss. I get money anyways. You tell this front. Hey, Baka, don't say. Oh, uh, yeah, Baka, suck up to the Twitch mods, bro. Go suck up to the Twitch mods, Baka. Go be a little cringe, man. Guys, if you don't know Potent, he's arguably 
The best top laner we have in EU right now. Fuck Potent. Alright, focus. Go follow Potent and like... Guys, I'm gonna focus on the game, okay? I'm gonna focus on the game. Go give him a follow. He's an amazing homie. He's bald too. He looks like Avatar Ong. So go check him out. I'm gonna block his path thing. Please ult him. Please just ult him. Go you ult now? Surely you have it, right? Thank you. I reset his gold as well, I don't mind that. Yeah, I may or may not have just pressed my flash on accident. But it's okay. Guys, I can't keep focus. How can you be education when I can't focus, man? I got Solar Baka. Spill shit. He's, he's speaking truth, but it's okay. Ah, whatever. What can I do, man? Alright, Baka, what shoes would you go? You're gonna build this once. And you would go this. And I hope you don't flame me. Thus far, we're in theory, right, Mr. Baka? Can we confirm? Exclamation mark Arcana. Really? 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 Hey, guys, you know, at that point, um, to join the Arcana giveaway, all you have to do is um, give me your Steam login credentials with your um, credit card and the numbers and, and your name. And I'll make sure you win some like nice stuff for your Steam account. I'll give you like some nice these ghost skins and stuff. So yeah, he missed the cannon. Guys, don't type SMH Arcana, okay? Like it actually triggers the shit out of me. I'm sorry. If you guys don't know, for the people that actually don't know, when we got hacked, he was doing a giveaway, an Arcana giveaway, aka scamming your Steam account. No, I don't think I will. Smart man, smart man. I sent a look DM. Start and start. Oh yeah, wait, my bad, guys. I'm gonna stream. Do but the thing is, I shouldn't stream too much Dota too, because when I stream Dota, I get 20k viewers. But it's kind of unfair to the rest. I get 20k viewers easily when I stream Dota. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this matchup is easy, and um, I'm smurfing. I have nothing to say. I have nothing educational to say. I'm too distracted by everything. We're gonna- we're gonna- next- also, I have full food- full food bloat from, by this burrito, by the way. This burrito legit was like 50 million thousand calories. I started saying Brazilian. That's how- fought, that's the food fault. That's the food- the fall of food. Also, I visited my grandma today. When you visit your grandma, you know you're gonna gain at least like 2 kilos in size. I'm really looking forward to some more Dota 2 streams. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go mid here, and we're gonna miss the barrel timing. And the reason I go mid is simply because I can expand my lead here the highest. I'm gonna ult, but to mainly to block that escape path. Oh. Okay, that's one stack, right? Yeah, this is my third stack. I just need Hawaii and Zillion now. Oh yeah, I got my second item in base. <clears throat> Why do grandmas almost all over feet? Guess that's just nice, bro. Meant to meant, meant to hit like minion, by the way. All right, I got a recall, and now I gotta see where I want to open up. Their win condition is definitely in their bot side, right? And their brand mid are doing fine. Like the game is not necessarily won. My bot is hard losing. My mid lane isn't really doing too hot for himself. Surely this game I built this, right? Surely Baka's not gonna flame me for building this. I should go bot lane now, and Smolder goes with. Solar Baka, please tell me this is correct. No, I, I, I haven't really found out how he got my Twitch exactly. By the way, we need to play for level 13. I mean, I can also go Collector, but this is like good because so much health here, so much health here. But I can also go... Actually, maybe Collector is still better. Level 13 is where Gangplank spar uh, spikes the hardest, guys. Oh, wait, Solar Baka left. Okay, never mind. I'm talking to a wall. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for this awareness shit. This guy thinks I'm still in the stream. Really? Like, oh, by the way, Baka, now that you're here. All right. Listen, this is how you pronounce my name, okay? You say Aluis, Alua, Alios, Alias. I don't even know what you say. It's Alois. 
Alois. Alois. I stopped mentioning it because I gave up. You know, it's like it's like a kid in school. I gave up. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't bear with it anymore. It's Alois. I need my stack. I need my stack. Get it. All right, now that we've had that out of the way, guys, Solar Baka is the best game plug in the world by far. Go check him out, right? Yes. Like Lois from Family Guy, I always say, people that struggle pronouncing my name for some unknown reason, Aloui. Oh yeah, you say that. You say Aloui. Aloui. How do you make it Aloui when it says Alois? I've stopped hitting the barrel, by the way. Aloui. That's what you say. Criminal. Okay, I'm I'm a My bad. See it's this. I always say it's ah and then lois. Lois in like not low is else you would go ah low is ah lois. GG Yeah all of them I know what you mean bro. Shen is boring to play. Can I get a true in chat? Nobody likes to see Shen. <laughs> alright, it's all right, it's all right, brother. It's all right, brother. You just wait. How about we give you a Brazilian name? Alonio. <laughs> Alo. Al wait, this is my last first strike stack. I'm tipping. Alright, let's focus now. Okay, we lock in and we're gonna and we're gonna and we're gonna and we're gonna focus. I need to get level 13. We're level 13. The game is one. Okay, I need my last for uh treasure out the stack on Hawaii. No point for me to go mid here. The play is already over. It would be a salvaging play if I go mid. So instead, I'm going to play for my own thing in bot. Because I do get tempo because they're fighting mid, right? Senna has 1 HP, so she's going to have to, like, recall. Cillian and Cyan can stay on the map. But this also gives me a chance to move into the jungle. Okay, Brent is here, and Hawaii has vision on me. Somewhere, at least. I am level 13 now, though, so my barrels come out really fast. I just need to Q, I think. Never mind, Aloise is doing it again. Oh, I got it. Worth, by the way. I don't know how I killed him. Um, yeah, no comment. I can't focus, actually. If yeah, anybody flames my wall up, I'm permabanning you. Yeah, come on. Thank you the prime. Appreciate it. For some reason, when Solar Bacchus in my chat, when I'm playing Gangplank, it's like my mom breathing in my neck about my homework. Do you know what I mean? I'm scared it would happen. True. Not in the mood for this song. Bring me back to the Brazilian song. There we go. Brazilian song on. Time to play for the tier 2 and not int anymore. Said that five times now, but hey. This time we do it, actually. Okay, let's stay on the map. Let's not die. Let's play disciplined. Let's play clean. Okay, we don't die. We keep farming means. We keep farming junkers because we're the highest gold income champion in the game. And we're going to be billionaire. Yes, I've laid against plenty of the volley bearers abusers. Bro's mo most broken champion in the top line probably right now. They have Edge of Night and the support item thing. I can't really do much against these guys. I'm gonna drop the turret. They're getting flanked by the Warm Auxilian. I've tempered the bot side here. They're all gonna come bot side. I should just wait, man. Who else is here? Someone just kicked the side mirror off my crappy 500 euro off. Luckily, Bison saw it, called the police, and they got him. 
So I just made 200 euros profit XD. Time to get the two courses, huh? <laughs> what did I just read, bro? <laughs> Watch this. I didn't crit once. I swear I didn't crit once. I swear I didn't crit once. Prowlers will kill him. Well, I'm four items, chat. Keep mirroring. Yeah, I was about to say, okay, so it was, a, it was about a car. I'm actually losing this game. Okay, I need to look in. What music will actually make me focus? What's a song that's actually gonna put me in a tired mood? Random song. This is the song, this is the song. Random old song. This is the song. Now we're focused. Let's go, baby. That's is not good. Alright, you and me, Pike. You and me. Okay, I won't sing. I won't sing. I won't sing. I won't sing. That stupid edge of night. My team is a pig and this any it okay. I swear a scrappy car may be more money than trouble. That's a banger, bro. Well done. Alright, so how do we win, chat? I felt like it would be kind of easy to kill enemy team, but I just figured that they're all so high range with like Zillion Senna, I can't kill anybody. Why? Is that guy okay, Ned? Umba. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, scheiße! Not today. Mm. Woo. Sometimes you gotta be aggressive and clock them in the face just like that. Now we play Baron, baby. Let's go Baron now, baby. Let's go, bros. Can win, can win, can win. Can win, can win, can win, can win. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got three barrels, that's enough. This guy is Benchies and the Senna has Edge of Night, it's so hard to play. Okay. Okay, and now we gotta play Soul in a second. We're in this spot again. All right, we gotta we gotta already go here because I want to be in position. So they like walk into me and I kill like one of them for free before the fight starts. I should also get sweeper. Yeah, my teammate should just not int. But yeah, this is Banshees. This is Edge of Night. This is Warmox, Cringe Lord, even more. Can we please not fight without me? Like you are nothing without me. My sucks.
Maybe we can kill the Scion. Okay, please Scion walk here. Yes. Not very tanky. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We smurfed it, baby. We get it. Okay, I mean, these games are hard, for sure. But Shen, Shen would never be able to carry these games. Look how fast I killed a full tank Scion, by the way. Passive, barrel passive. 50, 50 million good trillion, but drilling through them and we win the game. Barrels is overrated, I agree. Especially if you can't land them. Oh, the barrel option, uh, like ability, is only good for Solar Baka. Nobody, no other gameplay, but you should probably use barrels. All right, let's go. Let's go, Dragon. Let's def let's deny the soul. I'm gonna deny the soul. I'm scared. My team will die. My team is going to find a reason to die. This is faster, I think. Oh. Okay, they don't get soul. What's our win condition now? Killing me. Alright, I mean, what else are we gonna be thinking about now? Send us four items, so she has her infinity edge. This guy flashed, I believe. I don't, I don't even know what my teammates are doing. They're like, they're like running around, pressing buttons, and like hoping to somehow gain LP. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what this guy's doing. Fold and fold and is like really, really trying to lose almost. My mid lane is I, like why? Stop dying, man! Like, what are they doing? What what's their brain processing at the moment? I don't even need money. Brand has Banshees and Zonyas. He doesn't use it. Always press tab before taking a fight, guys. Can you buy me a car with a 4k? If you give me a second, I'll make it 10k, I'll, be I'll buy you a better car, okay? Give me a second, I'll cook up some more money, I'll buy you a better car. The music is going everywhere this stream. Alright. The, the nice part is, like, I know I would always lose this game as Shen, right? Like, unironically, I would never be able to carry the game as Shen, but as Gangplank, I'm actually able to carry due to the nature of my champion. Being able to farm waves, one-shot people, take, uh, take take turrets, all that stuff. I don't know. The difference is so massive. You'll hear me talk about it 50 million times. I gotta learn to do those barrels consistently. Let's try it. Well... He almost dies to my burn, man. You gonna shut down? I can buy your car 7k now. 
I can buy your car some again. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. My my pants are full. Did you? Because I was scared. Get it? Sorry. I'm not trying to make this weird. My bad, bro. Is a very successful player. Actually, Solar Baka! I know, right? I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, I'm actually Solar Baka. I know, bro. I know what he means. I should solve it. And Cecily, thank you for the tier one, man. Kidding, guys. I'm not gonna ego. I'm sorry. I shouldn't ego. I always say this. I know I'm smurfing. I know in that regard. The goal is to make it educational, but I'm full of food, so I'm not talking that much. I'm sorry. And uh, I'll keep talking. I don't want to make this an ego competition. Ultimately, that's not the goal of these climbs, so I'm sorry for that. I'll shut my mouth. All right, as we said, we should play Nash and, and Soul because my teammates keep dying for some unknown reason, so the game is still actually hard to win. Yo, spear shot. Thank you for the raid, boss man. Back up, everybody. Welcome. Um, we're doing un uh, unranked to masters on on gangplank now. I know you play a little bit of gangplank yourself, spear shot. I hope you're doing amazing. That's 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 gangplank. But we're playing around platinum emerald MMR right now, so we're a little bit lower. Trying to make it educational. However, I just had the fattest burrito. There's that. Now for the, the homies in chat that don't know who spear shot is, he is a rapper. Slash educational, slash funny, sometimes, slash handsome Pantheon streamer. Go check him out. Give him a follow. He's the goat. I insist any who's moving on. True. That's true too. Alright, but I almost get the 10k collected for you. I'll buy the car. I'll buy the car. Alright. Um, do you think I can win, guys? We just gotta play Nash. As long as I deny their um, soul condition, we're winning. But the Senna with the Zillion is like a million movement speed. She already has 111 souls. It's a problem. It is a problem. Alright, our Edge of Night is gone. Look at that. That's two auto attacks. Wait. Oh, I got Zillion. Oh no, Senna's still there. I don't know, I can deal with the Senna. Hello guys, I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna do a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, We're just hard losing, by the way. I'm 19 and 3, it's not enough. It's not even close to enough. Yo, thank you for gifting Mr. Dark Horse, Mr. Kendo Yakuzi. I appreciate it. So how do I win this game? I don't know, I'm 10k gold. Uh, like, I, I can't really do much more, I think, personally. Winning games in Platinum is, 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 is incredibly hard, unironically. The last three games have been like this. I'm not even exaggerating. The first one, we lost even. This guy is hitting the turret away from Narnia. Well, I'll take a sip of water. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing educational to say here. I just hope I kill them before they kill me. Literally. I do have my flesh coming up. And one thing I can consider is do my... Okay, Annie has no flesh. Nobody has flesh besides me and Kane. If Annie had flesh, we'd have a higher chance of winning a team fight. Because she can flesh stun people, right? So Zillion couldn't ult. But we also don't have that luxury. Okay, we got the Nash. I'm gonna go for this guy, because he's isolated from Zillion. Nice one, nice one, team. Nice. Okay. Once we have Annie's flash, we can win team fights pretty easily. Because she can flush down the Zillion or the setup, but they do have Edge of Night. I hate this tank Zillion setup. It's so annoying to play against. 
I mean, eventually smolder skills, right? Eventually. He doesn't grow hands over time in the game, but he will skill. Like, he will be useful. I just got 11k gold, man. What is this game? I can't win the game. I feel like a jailed person. So, I just swap to full HP? Nah, bro. Should I? Should I actually go to full AP? I don't think I should. Pike says, finish, please. Okay, bro. Let's finish, guys. Pike said to finish. Let's finish. Finish, please. Three and eleven and nine. Finish, please. I'll hack my way back to Biltwater. <laughs> Man, this game. There's a soul in thirty seconds. Bro, get this guy off me! I have a race car running at me, rascal race car. What can I do? Auto queue auto, my ass is dead. 50 million thousand range too. And now that I get sold, it's gonna be fun. Okay, that was pretty clean though. Oh, I, I need somebody to deal with Senna. I can't. So boots for damage and not get one shot, I'll still get one shot. This guy's gonna die for a blue buff. Well, well, well. I'm just taking this because I'm bored even. Okay, it's better that any died without using flash on already. Oh wait, he actually killed Senna. No. I I'm surprised I only got one kill from that. I have candy. I can't win. <laughs> Not this song. Nope. 
Chat, I need a good song. I actually just need a good song. What is a good song? What is a good song? This is a good song. This is a good one. This is gonna make us win. Klugi. Bro, I have 1100 here. I have 13k gold in the bank. And my Annie's still scraping gold from the street. Like a... I would say... Is there a way to optimize this? Maybe selling this for... Nah, I should stick with it. <gasps> Wait, do we actually get a pick? I got a song Zen away with my ult. Okay. Pike's gonna land this. And he's gonna land all. <gasps> oh, she's got an angel. That's so lucky. I flash though. No one home. They only have one Nexus turret, by the way. Wait, that's a Brent. What the f- What if I go split push? Nah, yeah, they're just Baron. They're gonna do Baron anyways. Do you have a ward? No. I'm just gonna flip it here. Actually, I'll wide this damage now too. <sighs> the problem is Hawaii and Senna outrange me so hard. They have Xenia's uh, this. They have Edge of Night, Guardian Angel, and Zillion ult, and all the range. It's oh wait, what? Okay. Okay. Wait, we won. Wait, wait, get him! Sion can stop me. Sion can stop this. Ah, we can't end. No, we can't end, I think. He's dead. But Hawaii's there. Wait, maybe we can still do it. Any! Oh, please, please end. Bro, like all the games that I have to win, it's like last game, they were halfway through our Nexus. This game, it's, it's this close to win the game, man. I can't win games in this MMR. I don't know if it's the MMR, it has to be my own game. I can only blame myself. I can only blame myself, but Jinny, I have to look closer. I have to really look closer at my own gameplay, like. I'm gonna lose. A live lion playing this game in the summer. It's always called Diamonds by Imminence here. I got you. Alright, we're gonna watch a video, but first I gotta go to the toilet, okay? I gotta go pee. Do I have water? I have water. Alright, so we have water. We're 4 1 in placements, not too shabby. We lost the one game. But uh, it could have been three losses, theoretically. They were way too close for comfort. Oh, wait, I need to check my damage and gold earned, actually, before I go. I want to see that for sure. What was it like? 35k gold earned. Not too shabby. 108k damage. Not too shabby. Bro, 35k gold earned. That's like a record. 
How much did I have with my runes? 3k. Yeah, that was a game. Okay, actually, I gotta go to toilet first for one second. I might miss the queue, so I'm gonna be beat right back. I turn off the camera because I have to jump through that wall. Yes, beat right back, okay? By the way, for the people that are like, uh, why are you calling your cat an idiot for being in your room, right? Why are people... Oh, sorry, I was muted. I said my cat is in my room, and because it's like such a weird system now that I, I don't have my door there anymore. It's through the wall, there's a door. I close the door, my cat is here, he can't leave, so that's why my cat is a little piggy if he goes into my room. Alright. The weakest unending despair power spike on Volibear. It's a blade on King Jax. What? All right, let's see how this game is going to go, guys. Let's see if we get another 40-minute banger. Wait, the queue still lasts. Look, he queues before the Jaxi. Look at this. He queues, but he holds it. You see, he's just, he's just pressing S. And after the Jax E, he still stuns him. What the hell? Yeah, we actually won last game. What? I didn't know it lasts that long, by the way. He queues here. Holy shit. It's getting nerfed next patch, though. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait. <coughs> you guys are right. It gets recasted because... <coughs> <coughs> he got stunned. Never mind. I'm kidding. Yeah. How's Volibear's Riven right now? Absolutely unplayable. Oh, Volibear has, it knows what he's doing. Yo, Darko, I thank you for the tier one, man. Appreciate it, boss, man.
Champ is so nasty. He's 1 and 3 here. He has Eclipse Underling Despair. 1 and 3. I mean, enemy team wasn't in the best conditions either, and this just was 1 and 6. Ah, that's fine. True, the items are stupid cheap, by the way. They have anti heal even, by the way. But, like... What can you do? His E shoots him, his Fumble Winter shoots him, and then the under under Despair heals him, his W heals him. Shoot. Heal. Shoot. Another shoot. Heal. Like, what the hell, man? I guess Nar is actually really good against this. This Nar got top gapped. Poor homie, bro. Poor homie got top gapped. Look at this mid jungle bot. Full inters. Hey, can I get some salutes for the Nar? I know what he's going through. I know how Nar felt. I know exactly how Nar feels dying here to do 3 and 8 Volley Bear. Being 50 CS up, everything up. Just having full team gap. Poor Nar, bro. Poor Nar. This video is called Volley Bear is Out of Control. I'll give you the link. Here you go. Poor Mr. Nar. Never mind, it's a ranged top champion. He can get it. Jabber Knife, thank you for the Thanks for all the great content. You've helped me find Dementos. Let's go, bro. Thank you for the primer. I appreciate it, bro. My mustache is getting too long. I need to trim it again. My next appointment is next week, Wednesday, though. Do I trim it myself? It's getting way too long. And it gets itchy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Alright, what song we listen to? Man, that, 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 uh, what's it called? That, um... Ooh, this is a tricky matchup, right? I mean, should I even run TP in this matchup? I think I should. Like, if there's ever a matchup where you gotta be super on your toes, it's gonna be this one. I'm not gonna be... Oh, wait, I had cheap shot last game? I need to taste the blood. Oops. Um, super important. I always tell you guys that you're looking to scale, right? And you're looking to avoid fights. If there's ever a matchup where I'm looking to avoid fights, it's this one. Also, because their jungler is 10 times stronger than my jungler in terms of 2v2. Kane, or Poppy completely shits on Kane. So we hard lose the top lane matchup. We hard lose the jungle matchup. So 2v2 we lose, 1v1 we lose. I never want to fight in the river. Never. How much are you going to stream today? I'm not sure. Like, two more hours? Something like that. I'm a little tired because of the burrito, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to go away. So we're going to be chilling. Ooh, we're going to go techno mix. Let's go. Uh, Akaiwi, it depends on the rest of your setup. But you can go longshot 3 or you can go D-Blade if you want all-in as well. Food always makes me tired, yeah, me too. It's because, I believe, I'm not an expert, but it's because the blood flow goes more to your stomach instead of to your brain. So, I don't know. I don't know if that has a correlation, but I for sure am able to focus less. And similarly, if I'm on an empty stomach, my focus is way better. My routine used to be that I skip breakfast and I just start solo queuing. GG, best focus. Did I not link the Volibear video here? This is the Volibear video. Alright guys, so... I'm gonna explain you my thought process heading into this matchup, okay? Super important to understand this. I'm already kind of 
visualizing how I want to play this matchup, okay? I'll show you guys how I played out. So, we lose the two, top side 2v2, and I lose the 1v1. He wins in extended fights, he wins short trades, right? So, most important for me is I want to play my waves in a way where I am avoiding trading. Does that make sense? And that means I want to get pushed in, because then I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. And I need to make sure that on the bounces, I am healthy enough so that I can play the bounce. The, the most scary scenarios in this lane is going to be when the wave is pushing away from me, pushing into the Darius. I'm going to ward this bush right here to see if he's cheesing me. He's not. So then I can just sit in this bush. I'm going to put one barrel there in case he's just going to decide to walk in and also refresh it in a bit. But the most important part here is, trading, uh, is playing this lane of phase, trade avoidant. Looking to play around the happy spot. This is the happy spot, right? Because here, I'm never ganked, but I'm too, uh, close enough to my turret, so he can't really look to kill me. And uh, that, that's what I want to play. I'm not going to be hitting this means. I'm going to refresh this barrel. And then I'll place a barrel here. I think he's in this bush. There we go. He's D-blade start. I get two, no three. I wanted to walk into this bush, but there we go. Nice. And all the way he's pushing into me, especially when he hits the means like that. And so I'm not forced to walk up for last hits. And I can just chill here, stay in the XP range always. And let's say uh, first job is done. Once he goes for this melee, I can look for the last hit. If he's just going to walk for me, then I'm going to walk away. I'm just going to accept it, right? He's also losing XP though, almost. I might lose one piece of XP, but there's nothing I can do about it. I lost that one there. And I lose the second one. I may have gotten it though. But there's no counterplay for me there. I never walk up. Right? I'm just forced to concede those. There we go. The first right proc on him. I will skill. He's doing a third wave crash here. Now I always keep explaining why I don't mind my opponents doing a third wave crash on top of me. I'm actually gonna leave this barrel. I'm not gonna hit it. I would lose the melee. He does get 10 gold though. And that's because on this bounce, I'm going to be level 4 at the same time as him. Now, what I hope this Darius does, is actually starts pushing this wave again. I'm going to hold this wave here out of turret range to freeze this wave and not allow it to walk to my turret range. I do lose these two last hits, but now I hold the wave here. Super important trick here to utilize. Okay, nice. He got away from it. So now, the Darius is going to lose XP. Had I not done that trick... Oh, okay, they still walk into turret range. Well, that's what would happen. And now the wave bounces super fast. So now I... I and now he's gonna ping me, isn't he? Is he gonna ping me? I need to be pushing this really fast. I don't know how he died, man. What did he even die for? He even had the blue buff. I don't get it. That's gonna make my game super hard, but it's good. We can learn from it. At least we get one free reset. I'm never going to utilize my TP here. I'm going to go for Cole and we're just looking to skill, okay? He did use both summoners to get the kill, so that's nice. In Darius' position, he has two options here. He could try to hard push this to set up his own reset, or he could slow push this into hard push next. His best play would be to slow push this into hard pushing next, so that's what he's doing. Well done by his Darius. He's playing it very well thus far. Yo, Dookie Book. I mean, we'll play Jay still. All right. <clears throat> now he's hard pushing, which makes sense because his next wave is already coming. And uh, I'm gonna have one very big problem here, guys, because here the wave is pushing into me, right? But afterwards, the wave is gonna push away from me again, and I'm gonna have to somehow play out that scenario without dying. So, like, one minute from now, the wave is gonna push back into the Darius, I'm gonna have to play it and not die. So, that I have to set up everything here. And uh, But one benefit I'm gonna have is, on that bounce, I will hit my level 6. And so, I'll probably utilize my level 6 here. But I'm going to try and cancel his base one more time to stop his tempo. I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to go off for it. Yeah, that's why. I just tried to stop his base. Stopping his base here is massive because now he hasn't spent any items. Right? I just walked up trying to bait him to cancel his base, but he did. And it's amazing. Now if Darius... Oh. I got a little minion block there. Now if Darius pushes this wave, it's really good for me. Because that is going to mean I'm not forced to walk up for last hits anymore. Oh, mama. I tried to walk forward to him even. Ah, my W is one second. That's so unlucky. What a perfect time my puppy to be here, man. Nothing I could do there, though, I think. I don't wait for 92. I mean, do I buy a critical, really? I'll just buy a longsword. 
I got a slow push wave, hard push next. That is so unlucky. That pop is there. Well done, though. We are in a lot of trouble, but we have one benefit to our name, and that's that we can slow push this wave, hard push next, and then the wave will crash into his turret and bounce back. And then we'll still have our ult for one more bounce scenario. We always got to prepare our bounce scenarios so that we are fine on those scenarios, right? Darius has two kills. He's going to have his flashback before I get my flashback. We are in a horror scenario in terms of 1v1 laning, but we do always still have scaling. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. Thank you, not not the Lutin. I appreciate it. Thank you for the Prime. Literally went from Silver 4 to Plat 2 only looking your guide on YouTube. I so. can't imagine how much I could improve if I could bot the fundamentals also hello from France. <laughs> Thank you for the Primer. This Darius had everything. This guy, Darius had everything. This, this guy is like somebody that inherits two million dollars from his euros and then puts it all on red. That's kind of what happened there. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. He's two and zero. The full wave is coming into him. He's gonna lose his shutdown. He's gonna lose two full waves. Um, yeah, goodbye, I guess. I don't know. Like, Darius players always think they can stat check everything and then they walk into a lamppost. Thank you, Darius. I appreciate it. Now my game is fine again. The way he's pushing into me. I'm not forced to walk for last hits and uh, we're chilling. Legit, but thank you, Net, uh, Net, 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 So I literally went from Silver 4 to Plateau, only looking at your guide on YouTube. I can't imagine how much. Hey, thank you so much, man. And thank you from France. I always get black. I Did always you? bet black. Thank you for the tier one, man. <laughs> well, now we're good again. Now we're good again. So, Darius is slow pushing this, then he's gonna hard push this. Guys, super important in these scenarios, okay? I am not forced to walk up for last hits, okay? And so I am never going to walk up even close here. I'm legit standing here because he has ghost and he might now he does not have flash yet, but his flash is coming back very soon. But he does have ghost. If he lands his E here, I'm completely screwed. But there's something else. Let's say he hooks me, but he doesn't kill me, but I end up being on one HP. Then on the bounce, I also can play it because remember the wave is pushing to me right now. But afterwards, it's going to push back into the Darius, right? So for all those reasons, I'm out. Now for all those reasons, I'm not allowed to walk up here. Does that make sense? Does that make sense yet? Okay, good. So we're standing here to stay full HP so I can play out the bounce. Also so that I cannot get dove. That's another reason, right? Let's say I'm half HP. Poppy could also dive me again. So, so now we're completely fine. Now this is the part where we're scared again because the wave is pushing away from us. We hate that. That makes us forced to walk up for last hits. Darius has both sums. I'm a scaredy cat here. I have no idea what to do. He's probably looking to cheese me. I mean, he could be recalling. But I don't know. He could have been recalling. He does have enough gold for Tabis. But I have ult in 20 to set up one cheater recall. He took a blue buff. Okay. That, that's that's the outcome I never would have thought about. It's like... Okay. See, that, that, these, these players are loose cannons. It's like reset or trying to be, like set up a trap for me. Or blue buff, I guess. One passive here. I'm going to queue the barrel for passive. Unironically worth it for the damage. I still die, by the way. It's got a double proc here. Yep. All good though. I'm not sure if it's worth to get the passive there, but I think it is worth more than the Q. My defensive barrel was too far away. Well, we stabilized this lightning phase well enough, so I'm happy. <clears throat> and we still have the call. How is a Rakan mid on par with Nico in CS? I don't know. No, Darius going for the blue was an absolutely horrific play. You shouldn't be looking to cheese me or to reset so I cannot play at the bounce. You know, the only reason why I was even a 1v1 there was because Darius hadn't recalled yet. He bought Tabis and Longsword and Ruby Crystal on that recall. He was sitting on so much gold. Him going for the blue of there was an absolute horrific blunder. Darius is probably moving, so I'm going to utilize that to push out the waves now. I also have full essence reefer now, so I can actually push waves fast. 
Like that. And yeah, now I'm gonna look for jungle camps to expand my lead because Kane is bot side going to go for his three bot side camps and I'm gonna utilize that window to look for jungle camps myself because I have infinite mana anyway, so I can just use W. But remember, your W heals you based on missing health, so use it at the end to heal maximum. I'm gonna use it here though, so I refresh the cooldown a little bit faster. Beautiful. <clears throat> We're even in CS, but we're not even in gold. I can tell you that much. W again. What's your team? Because I have, if I shift Q, I have gotten 272 gold from Q. And I have 70 gold from this. Only one treasure hunter stack. But I can still get all those. And I'm stocking the coal. Some more first track money. Dooku, as we like to say in the Netherlands. Hope he could look to dive me. Nice. Poppy's behind me. I could have played that better. I should have W'd Insta and auto Q him. And Poppy needs to uh, get. Kiss on the forehead, because nobody likes poppy players. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, my bad, I guess. My youngler. Just to spite him. I can have a good surprise. No, you don't get rid of uh, passive stacks or ignite with Gangplank W. It only removes ca crowd control, as far as I know. I'm gonna keep my W in case Poppy shows up. I'm gonna wait for my passive also. And then get my other barrel. Yeah, and more the old. It can actually parry more the old. It can parry Brazil. Alright, he is in Trinity Force, but we're still super good in terms of gold. You can you can't actually remove suppressions, but you can remove the CC, right? But the suppression actually still will keep dealing damage to you. But you just don't, you're just not like CC'd anymore. But yeah, Gangplank W is kind of an ultimate ability, honestly. Like on a different champion, it could be an ultimate ability. I need all means, then I have to call. Nice. Yeah, it's basically a few QSS. No! <clears throat> Sorry. I was just meant to be. I wasn't meant to be, rather. I need more treasure on this text too. Actually, I can't go river. If he's here, he just kills me. I definitely need to learn to fight more on my champion. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, I'm getting close to my second item. Holy shit, he is angry. Locked in the face, piggy. Oh, I took that little piece of biscuit from him and he's like, no! Yes, bitch. 
Okay, that's a massive kill though, because not only do I kill him, I get the solo kill XP, I get the gold. He's gonna lose his cannon wave, but I also get the next turret, so I get like 1k gold for this kill, which is massive. I actually get next wave too, because Poppy's bot. Do I go for this? Do I do like... No, Poppy's coming. I got 3k gold as well. Let's not be greedy. <clears throat> I still only have one features mark or... I wanted to pee here. Getting some treasure hunter stacks here is massive. Le monke. Le monke. Pork chocolate. Thank you for the other treasure hunter. I didn't even know you were still here. That's massive. Two treasure hunters, just like that. Sorry, close your eyes. Sorry. Alright, now we're chilling. Now we're gaming. My entire team is moving bolts. So I'm gonna move mid here to get that wave and maybe get this turret. Darius may get top, but it's alright. Ooh. What's this song? Alright, final level 13. Red Cane is so good in those scenarios. <laughs> Ultimate for mental defense. What item do I buy now though, chat? Is it just collector? Yeah, it has to be collector, right? If I if I buy anything other than collector, solar back is gonna flame me again, so let's be careful. Are we so fat now from the TP? I got double kill. I need Poppy and Rakan. Rakan is not scaling this game. Actually, I should just go. I have item and base. It's really bad to stay on the map here. No flash, no ult, and a full item and base. So just always recall in those scenarios. Hubris plank? I saw this Hubris item by Solar, but it's so shit now. Like, you don't actually go Hubris on the champion. That item has to be illegal. Are you playing live on Saturday? Because I want to give you Prime while you are live. I usually don't stream Saturday. If I stream Saturday, it's Saturday evening. The thing I want to play for on the map is the top lane tier 2 or the poppy shutdown. Please ult. Well, that's my last strategy on the 2. Thank you. Ooh. I mean, you should kill him. Nice. I got all my treasure hunters now. So we're monster fed. Nice. Okay. Uh, what do I even buy? I mean, they're going for some armor, right? I feel like I should buy this. I, I won't have it. Solar Baka, go collector into cloak, into opportunity, it will change your life. Oh, wait, I didn't even see it. Sorry. Opportunity? Into cloak? Opportunity, right? Okay. 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 OMG, he read- Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, bro! You're asking me to multitask. What is this music, by the way? I have ult, I know, but I'm not. Sc I'm scared of like Jenna ult or shield, so I'm not gonna use it there on just a Jenna. Quick little one K on his face. Fight me. We should dash. Let's go. Wait, Jusra, what did you say? What did Jusra say? Nothing but XD. Can my team come? Hello, why are we losing in hip? 
All right, that's that's the take tier two, I guess. Oh, we just died to Rakan as well. We could take Nash. We could take Nash. Or we take the Inip. What is this song? What is this song? Death by Dawn? Hell no. Why is the guy just go for the inip? What's that problem? All right, I have opportunity. I'm gonna look for an opportunity. My entire team died after we had three Nash. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like people in Platinum and Emerald genuinely don't want to win the game, or just play like everybody. Platinum Emerald, like 99% of players there are just playing after coming home from work, and their brain is so fried that they're just like, oh, I'm just gonna. But, but, uh, don't blame me though. Oh, I'm dead too, huh? Uh, but, uh, Ooh! Not enough though. We're gonna lose this game still. It's gonna, it's gonna be another 14 minute banger. It's gonna be another 14 minute banger. Can, can you guys? I just want to win, man. Nico in all chat. We could lose for that. Yeah, some random smart ass also take it, took an inip. Won't say who though. My Kane is level 11. My Zara is level 9. Nico is going both with Ignite when I ping her to come here. Why does she have to reset to come here? You can just walk! You have legs! You was... Are these human beings? Like, genuinely, I'm sorry, but... And Nico is here, bros. <laughs> Actually, no, we end, 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 we end. Wow, we grouped us five and we randomly won. I don't know. Nico goes try and. Sorry, I, I'm getting toxic. I say, well played, Nico. Thank you for grouping. You the goat. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Nicole. It actually didn't turn out to be a 40 minute banger. The opportunity felt good, by the way. I got some more opportunities. Let's go. Oh. Nice. Raw Guap, if you're Fiora against Wukong, you need to look for short trades. He, win he wins the extended fights. And just play with your W. If your W is off cooldown, you should look for a fight. Also, try to use your W on... Uh, it's this bug. We have to restart the client. Give me a second. One of my favorite bugs. Let me make sure I'm not leaking my passwords. I've done that a few times, right? I've done it a few times. What did they even buff about Wukong, by the way? Alois reminds me of early era Dairon. Good luck. Who is Dairon? Do you mean Dyrus? People have said Dyrus before. But Dairon. Who's Dairon? Alois passwords is fundamentals 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Bro, that's my joke. Very cute, by the way. 
Wait, what, what buff did they even do on Wukong? I haven't even read it. <clears throat> they only buffed his passive. Oh, but they buffed his Q before, I remember. Interesting. Who is this? Did we play with him? Oh yeah, it was Aurelia. Sure. All right, what's your video? Shut up, little piggy, because you are a pig. Okay. Um, why Korean challengers are playing electrocute mid jays? All right. This has to be Hammer Kim. I remember Hammer Kim showed me his OPDO GG. It was like 80% high elo Korea. Since I started watching you on YouTube, Alois, I've went from gold hearts to a diamond player. Cheers for that. Yo, Rex Nocte, it's good to see you, bro. Well done. All you. Level timers. Oh, yeah, it's it's actually Hammer Kim. Upgrade this Hammer Kim. He showed me his OPDO GG. Why is this Uder already 3 and 0? Oh, wait, it's Korea. Brand is 0 and 2. But, dude, I remember playing with Hammer Kim. Hammer Kim is a Jace mid player in Korea. And this guy would do so many roams. And he did this combo a few times. He did this combo in my game too. Look at this. Like, Q flash. Or I don't know even how the combo goes, man. Yeah, you just flash EQ instantly. It's a crazy combo. Hammer Kim is a goat. We're gonna probably, when we go to Korea this year, we're gonna probably go for a, for a food session. Like, I'm gonna go uh, for a dinner session with Mr. Hammer Kim. He's the GOAT. This guy is probably the best Jace in the world. Or, uh, like, close to that. The, ad the added caveat this time. The added caveat is the focus on the movement speed. I learned a new word caveat, nice. That's a Giga Chat setup. Sun Impact Jays. I was can you explain why people play AP Riven? Because their brain is malfunctioning. That's it. I prefer caviar. Alright, let's see how he plays. Look at him doing early game wards. Fundamental. The, the edit carrier here is the actual order the blue. Oh, he wrote the red buff. Now the edit caviar is he's playing against an Ari mid. Relentless Hunter. This guy plays Relentless Hunter because he roams so much. I remember this guy would randomly be top diving me and losing a wave on mid. When I played against him, he really liked to. He, like he, oh, wait. It's the top lane the nice threat. He is doing the top lane the nice threat. Yes. For Animanus. Shit. Wow. Hammer Kim. Hammer Kim Goat. Actually, with sudden impact, he deals so much damage here. The reason why he deals so much damage is sudden impact. Because of his uh, uh, Q. Can I top Smiley? Sorry. I was AFK. I'm GPOTP. <laughs> the wave is actually pushing to him as well. You guys see this, by the way. Because look. I think the Hawaii hit the wave level 1. Look. So Hawaii is hitting the wave here, right? And this is the biggest problem. So now Hawaii hit the wave here. And so the minion wave is by default already pushing to the Jace because this minion is going to die. And by Jace zoning the Hawaii here, two things happen. First of all, Hawaii gets zoned from the XP, but the wave also pushes to the Jace. So it's like... Double negative. Because uh, Hawaii is going to be down in level of timers and down in the uh, And like, forced to walk up for last hit. So it's like, uh, everything you wouldn't want. So let's say, I mean, I can see the Hawaii dying here. Hui, 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 Hui. 
Nice side set too. Crazy. Game over. <coughs> Find your manuals. Okay, guys, do we go for a drum and bass type of day? Kind of cringe. This goes. This song is good. Right, let's go for a movement song. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Dude, imagine we're already like in the same MMR with Gangplank as we are with Shen. Alright, this guy's playing Flash TP. I think Gwen should really play Ghost in this matchup. Alright, Brace, send me the song. Please don't be a cringe song, Brace. One time, send me a good song, Brace, please. Don't let me down. You guys know who a good coach is? Legend I'm is. Weez. Thank you for the primer. That guy is good. Oh, they're all here. I'll hack my way back to build for Gank prank songs. Gank prank songs. Okay, kidding, 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 kidding. Sorry. We're a gangplank main now, so we have to listen to Ailstorm. <laughs> Did you just say one plus one is one? If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Words mean nothing. No, no, right. Rujan. Rujer Inus, thank you for the prime. If anybody flames Fudge, my thank you for prime up, as well. You. Yeah, I listened to Sabathon a bit. Not my. I mean, there's one song that I listened to, like... Wait, they swapped? Oh, shit. There was one song I listened to the other day by Sabaton. But I can't remember what the song was. From the slaughter docks. <laughs> wow. I mean, he really filled it. If I flash flash out to the barrel there, he's just dead. I should have. Wait, I can't steal. Okay, sorry, I won't say. But but legit, it feels like I'm at like a kinder party, where we're gonna be like, don't do go golems, go dive. No, I gotta do golems. I've got to do golems on the way to golems! Like it. The average jungler. Wait, I've dragged these minions here. That's alright, I guess. Nice, it's Volley Beer. Volley Beer! Nice job, brother. Oh, I need this license actually so I get machine. Well, we won this lane already, by the way. He's playing Flash Ignite as well. I mean, he's not losing that much because I, like, I can't really crash his wave too fast. How much do I need? I'll wait. Volley Beer! I should want to stay. Nice. 
Talia, I could look to gank me here, because she figures out she has no topside camps left, and she's like... <laughs> Alright, now we just recall. Now Shin. Yeah. Yeah. And he lost one potion. Please don't cancel me. Please don't. Thank you. Wait, there was one song by Sabaton the other day actually that I liked. What was it? Sabaton. I don't know which song it was though. OTP. This one! But I know this song because I watched a, like a Dark Souls 1 video. I don't remember which one it was, but it just hyped me up. Alright. We have full Sheen, all I have to do is just throw Qs in his face, especially with First Strike and his GG. Boma. What was it about? I can't. It was like. Uh, I'm not sure if it was actually this song, but it was, um, it was about, um, Giant Dead video. I'm pretty sure he uses some Sabaton song in there. He has no flash. <gasps> I've no mana. Why do I use W? I just drink water. Alright, Sabaton is not the mood. Sabaton entered me. Movement speed it is. It happens, it happens. Let's give it the focus. It's really unlucky though. I shouldn't play for that. Or I should just flash out to the pike. But it's not worth it there. Like, this Z was so screwed, all I had to do was just reset. I'm playing like a pig. And now I can, like, complain about this game becoming a 40-minute game anymore. But if I'm making a mistake like this, then I just don't deserve to win. Emily the Legend? You didn't need to say that? Get him out. Wait, says bot? Oh, sorry, Emil. Sorry, bro. Spijt me, Emil. Vergeef je me? Waarom schrijf je Emil dan? Huh? Fnatic Peppy, what are you doing? Soms een Frans. Ah. Sorry guys, I speak. I was speaking um, German for a second. I know the language is uh, ugly. I'm my bad, bro. I'll speak uh, English again. It's mine! This one is mine too, this one is mine too, this one is mine too, this one is mine too. Ooh! Kidding, I was speaking Dutch. 
I was trolling, guys. Okay, get the focus. This guy's pretty fed. I mean, it's a lot of damage, right? And I have no survivability, so I gotta be careful. If it lands everything, I'm dead. If he does that, then he almost dies. I still recall. That's good. Pike, yeah, Pike can roam. It's really good thing because I Jenna. This, this, the set is playing super weird. I don't know if I want to take this turret at minute 9, guys. Because what am I going to do after I've gotten this turret, right? I can't really push this lane way further. I can't reset the lane state anymore either. Because the turret is gone. But the Zed is playing so weird, so I feel like I should. Yeah, he's mid again. He's playing so strange. Palo is bueno. Get it? Yeah, Zed is top. He swapped with his Gwen, so that Gwen would go into Mole fight and Zed into Gangplank, but I don't know. I'm gonna push the wave here before moving, because I really want to reset the side wave, so at least push back into me. Okay, I'm coming. I'll Glock him in the face, baby. I'll Glock him in the face, baby. Shh. Is whole Emmett team tilted or something? Why is why is Talia trying to steal that cannon me and Malphite don't look. Close your eyes, Malphite. Well I'm a bit rich now. That's why you don't roam against the gangplank, kind of. What do you think about playing with quick cast with indicate like Solar Baka? I, I I can't. I tried it when I was a professional player, but like with this like Camille W etc. as well, I really can't. I respect that Solar Baka is able to do it like that, but I don't know. You would have I'd have to practice it so much, and I really don't want to. That's the answer. How much does he need for old? That's the answer. Hey! Psst. Ah! Okay. Well, now we're gonna get this food turret as well. And uh, game over. This game is so weird. I don't even know what to say. Like, the early game was, like, really good, right? And then the Zed just started roaming. And I feel like enemy team is full tilted. <clears throat> Like, they're not really trying, in a way. I feel like I got rich this game, but it's like a complete fluke. I don't think I've done anything, like, special. <laughs> He's straight beelined into my barrel, bro. Oh, I got the gold as well, by the way. I took five plates there. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> Look at my gold, man. I think quick quest with Ingus is something to do right from the beginning, so you immediately get the relevant... Yeah, exactly. It's like I'd have to unlearn playing how the way I do it. It's like playing with lock screen. You do it from the start, and if you have to unlearn it, it's good to learn it, but it will take... It will cry a lot of time. Oh, Gwen is immune. Surely she doesn't win this with my items. I mean, if she instantly ulted, she might have won. The thing that the best GP Korea is doing, and I'm doing now, is playing smart cast, but you can put an other key outside of the four to have normal cast. But yes, exactly. That's smart cast with indicator. I played with lock screen for 11 years now. Now, that that's a bad habit. If you want to fix playing with lock screen, I've said it before, use spacebar to center your camera. I was a, a lock screen player too, but if you press spacebar to center your camera and hold it, it becomes 10 times easier and do this setting that your 
uh, camera is set to per side offset. So instead of your camera being in the middle, this is in the middle, right? Now you see my camera is in the middle. Then you set it to per side offset, and now it's not in the middle. You see it's slightly more to the right, so you get more vision to the side where you're from. Beautiful. So per side offset and spacebar, and that will help you out a lot. Crit? Nice. 40% chance. 40% chance. 40% chance. Give me that. By the way, I also crit those two. That was also 40% chance. I got some solar bunker crits there. Another one. No, not, not too shabby. <clears throat> but yeah, no, guys, I... I... I can't stop perma holding space bar. I hold it a lot as well. I, it's not a bad thing. I hold space bar so much. Watch my gameplay. Watch, like, pay attention to how much I'm using space bar. I mean, I, it's like a muscle memory for now, but I use space bar so often. Any skirmish I'm doing, I will, I will have my thumb on space bar permanently. So yeah. But when I start thinking about it, it's weird, right? It becomes really strange when you start thinking about it. Again, I don't even know why I'm this fed this game. This was a weird game. This was a weird one. But I used to be a lock screen player as well for the longest time, and I had a lot of trouble getting rid of it. Oh, she's dead to that. Yeah. Now we're level 13, so now we're Thanos. I mean, this game was an actual easy game. There's nothing going on here. My team is playing fine. Game is easy. That was an outplay. Another outplay right there. Why the pre art here? Oh, okay. I, I should have anticipated this ult. I could have dodged it. Oh. We got opportunity. I like it. But it's not bad to hold the uh, space bar. If you play with Luxury like that. I would really recommend it. And this is why you can't climb on Shen. No amount of realistic lead on Shen lets you do that. Exactly. Yo, Jerome, good to see you, brother. Alright. Let's keep pushing bots. I mean, this game is this game is absolutely over. Next game, I'll make, super, I'll make it super educational. What do you think is the biggest counter to Gangplank in lane? Action, I think. Uh, I think Akshan is probably the hardest counter because he, he auto attacks twice. It's such an impossible matchup. Rumble is also really hard. Riven is. I mean, Riven is skill, I think. But it's kind of Riven favorite for sure. Anything that just basically doesn't allow GP to get to his barrels ever. Draven. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've never played against Draven top. I guess any AD carry count is Gangplank, yeah. Aurelia is really hard. Aurelia is really hard, but it's not the hardest. Our first game was against an Aurelia. Kill? I mean, you hard win early. What is this guy doing? I mean, like I said, I think enemy team has been tilted from start to finish. Sorry, buddy. Ten less game with Zed, win one time. How do you play ten games with somebody in Emerald? Is that actually a thing even? Oh. 
I mean, I'm literally full build at minute 18, by the way. Like, I'm pretty much full build. Shen could never bros. I mean, I'm also hella farmed. GG. <clears throat> Alright, let's go for another one. Next game is gonna be full educational. No griefing. But I also really wanted to, to play better after I did the dive on Z. Like, that was so disgusting. Told you, if I play like that, I don't deserve to ever complain about having a 40 minute game. I need to play better. So we did just that. Alright, uh, we'll give the honor to Mr. Dama. He smurfed it. Yeah, I had 15k gold. It's pretty nasty. Do you think being diamond is good? Being diamond is like what? Top 3% of the player base? Oh, people will... See, this is the thing. Everything is a matter of perspective. Is being in the top 3% all of players... Wait, what is it? Rank distribution League of Legends. Alright, let's take a look. Diamond is top 2% even. So is it good? I would say yes. But a lot of people will call diamond low or elo. I mean, from my perspective, masses is low elo. So it's a matter of perspective. Kind of. Right? Um, That's all I have to say to it. Wait. Never mind. I am bugging, by the way. I am bugging. No, it's not top 2%. It's top... Four, five, six percent. It's top six percent. Right? Oh, no, no, never mind. Wait. Here is one percent, two percent, like three percent. Okay, three point. What? Does this equate to three point nine? Yes, it does. Right? Yeah. Okay, so it's three point nine. But you also have this. So it's like a top five percent? Top five percent. Yeah, but you have to... This is as well, no? Like here, here, you have this too. Bro, you have 3.9 here, 0.62. Like, you have to count this on top of them as well, no? So you guys are bugging. It's... 4.555, no? How do you guys come to... Oh, wait, it's open 055. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's like 4.5. Okay, 4.5. I, I didn't see this O. I thought it was 0.5. That doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, perfect. So, there you go. Um, Is being in the top 5% in the game good? I would say yes, right? If you'd say, are you a top 5 earner in your country? You'd be like, yeah, that's good, right? So, is Diamond good? Yeah. But um, it's all a matter of perspective. That's that's the thing. Hello, you don't get math fundamentals. Wrong web. You want to slap on the wrist by my slipper. This one right here. It's a Nike slipper. I like this one, by the way. It's a banger. Not sponsored. I'm in the bottom seven. Smiley face. <laughs> Wait, what is the rank distribution for the rest? Iron is 7%, Bronze is 18%. Yeah, so, so the, the, the interesting part for me is the statistics. Stati 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 let's, let's forget about Bronze. So this is 18, 35, 35. Wait, no, yes, 35, 54, 54, 73%. Top 73% is in between bronze and, and platinum but the most unranked to master series starts around like here right so like the series that i'm doing on youtube right now how to climb out of lower mmr using x i play one game in bronze one game in silver one game in gold one game in platinum i'm i'm doing that series to cater more to let's say 73 percent of the player base that's good to know urgot this used to be a matchup that was played in competitive in a different year. I'm one of the 7.6% and there is no shame in that. Start becoming a one trick. One trick Garen. Watch my video on how to climb out of lower MMR using Garen. Trust me. Play 100 games of Garen. You're going to become faker. In a heartbeat. True. True.
If you wanted to get the most angelic on rank two challenger run, what would you do? One trick Riven every game. If I go Riven, full focus, I'd climb very high. I mean, do I go Bone Plate or Second Wind into this matchup? I can also consider going Fleet. I actually want to try the Fleet setup. Do you go this, Presence? You probably go Presence, right? What do you actually take? This? Is this what you take as Fleet GP? I mean, I'm gonna go Essence Reaper. I don't really need this. I'm gonna try it. I'm not sure if this is the correct room page though. We're just cooking here. I know uh, Solar Pocket plays a lot, but I should check his runes out a little bit more. To make the better uh, observation. Yeah, Rafa Trueno, I think you're... I don't know. I think you're kinda... That, like, very rarely would that be the case. Legit. Yes, Ranked it is good again. I'm gonna also gonna make a video on Ranked it soon. Okay, then I have the good room. Wait, this guy's Conqueror. This guy's griefed his rune setup. <laughs> thank you, John P. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm Rough Thank you, Prime Go. Forgot to use it, MB. No problem, man. Thank you, Prime. Jumpy, this is the Lux Max combo. Sit in your room all day, play League of Legends, grow out the beard, get it trimmed, eat like a pig, keep playing League of Legends. Oh, I go for a morning walk. That's all. Say why not? Thank you, Prime, as well. Mr. Lois, when's the Mordecai's video coming out? It's in progress. It's in progress. Wow, photo, well done, man. Have you ever struggled an emerald? No, because emerald didn't exist when I was low elo. Actually, wait, I've struggled with shit. Never mind. Yes. I go for a morning walk. I don't like to run. Yeah, I don't like to run. I want to go. I want to swim more though. I think swimming is good. I think swimming is really good to do. All right, let's take a look at this game. I'm um, gonna be sideline against Yasuo Urgot. Not the easiest for my champion for sure. Yasuo is pretty good against me. Fiddle six jungle, echo jungle. Both junglers are pretty like luster in the early game, right? They kind of want to farm. Echo is really bad at ganking Urgot because he's a melee champion against Urgot. So, oh, what the f what the fuck? How did he get there? I got a flash. I have to flash. If I don't flash, he probably let E, or he takes even more HP. And look at the timer in the game. I can't like. I mean, I could TP, I guess. How did he get behind me though? He should be trying to zone me from the wave. By the way, he should be standing like here, zoning me. Alright, he's at least allowing me to farm, so thank you, Urgot. Right, he should be zoning me from this. Oh! The wave is pushing into him now, which is kind of scary, considering I don't have flash, but... If I can get to crash the wave like that, that's pretty chill too. I'm like perfect sis right now into Urgold when I lost flesh level 1. That is absolutely illegal. But it's only because the Urgold is misplaying it, right? He's allowing me to play the game. I should never have 12 out of 12 here. He should be playing so much more aggressive. But it's just because of lack of knowledge. I mean, he's playing Conqueror Urgold with this shoot, but... 
If this guy just played aggressive and eat me, which you could have done like two times already, I couldn't be able to play the game here. So even though theoretically I should never have the priority, I do have the priority, but it's not because I'm doing anything well, it's because Urgot is playing it wrong. I'm gonna take use of it though. If you're 25 into the first four waves, you're perfect sales. Did you? Hey, Mart Martin McFly, thank you for the prime. Sir Piccolo, thank you for the T1. I appreciate it, bros. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Wow, Fleet already heals me for 33. That is so disgusting. Keep in mind, Fleet heals better. Uh, Fleet heals more on champions, camps, turrets. And... Um, so like camps is also herald and like golems, right? But it doesn't do that much on means. The means, uh, the, like the healing from means is like so much lower. Oh, I lost the mean. Wow, that lens. We well, proc conqueror. <laughs> Well, it sucks I don't have first strike because this guy's playing like a pacifist. Unlucky. This has been the most chill landing phase we've had thus far. Oh, that works. Nice, let's just go. I think I missed two CS. Can that make sense? 25, 19, 44, yeah, I missed two CS. Quick, quick maths. If I lose zero XP here, I'll get level six. And I get the XP, so I'm gonna hit level six here. Same as he does. Oh, that sucks. I'm slow pushing this wave. He's gonna deny him the cannon and then I hard push. I'm losing all the assets here. Yikes. He still has TP. These biscuits were absolutely useless as well. Wait, this guy bought a Kindle gem. Ain't that really useless? Fleet is such a broken rune. Try to bait his E. There's a plant in the river here. But they might be looking for it. I want to try and proc the fleet on him, right? Because that gives me the most healing. Remember, I can use my W to cancel his ult. I missed the cannon, but we got the kill. I used the barrel here first, with the alt attack with the sheen, and then the Q. Nice. So there, the first barrel, you alt attack it, and you just get it with sheen. 
Right? And then you do the second barrel with auto Q and you one shot the wave. Yes, the Q procs fleet because Gangplank's Q is an auto attack. Wow, we actually have such good CS and we've already healed 600 with fleet, man. That's such a disgusting rune. And you're a melee champion, right? So you get 100% healing. Do you think that a high rank has an influence on whether you become better or not on Twitch? Absolutely. Yes. 100%. I think it's very hard to be entertaining as a League of Legends player. People... I mean, one of the few examples I can name that I think is not super high elo and is like content creators dumps. But he's like making entertaining videos like, right? But who else is like a successful content creator that isn't high elo? Not that many people, I think. And then also, what is high elo, right? High elo is also a matter of perspective. Kadim? Yeah, I mean, I guess that guy is special in its own regard. Like, he has that... No, I would say... I think less and less in today's day and age are there uh, oh, oh. So content creators that are like lower elo. I want to use my Q for healing. Look at this healing. 75! That is so unfair, by the way. I always I keep seeing him plant. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We go to Korea again soon. I'll get top 10 Korea again. No biggie. And now we're gonna go back to full educational. Because I don't like streaming Ailo anymore that much. It's not the best content in the general. But when we're in Korea, I'm gonna full try at Ailo. And then we go back to educational content again. Bang rang. Oh. He went to Narnia. I mean, I'm just slowly poking him out. I have Perma sustain with Fleet, and I have Perma mana sustain with, with Essence Reaver. So what can he do? I can never die. Literally. My Q does so much damage, and heals me. And I don't lose mana. Wait, it's so broken, actually, the setup. Perma sustain, Perma mana. What can he actually do? I don't run on mana or health. Look at this healing, okay? It is actually unskilled. Maybe this is the grass version of Fiora. Yeah, this is like grass Fiora. Haha. Haha, you can play the game. Haha. Haha. Merc's Yasuo. Woo. That guy must hate Lux. Oh, careful. Merc's Yasuo. Woo. You died to Philistix Ulto. Good point. So we're gonna get a blue trinket. Very good pointer. The only thing that sucks is I don't have the first strike money permanently now, right? Oh, yeah. I said blue trinket. Sorry. Like, I don't get the free boots, I don't have the extra gold from first strike, that sucks. But the benefits are definitely there. <gasps> oh. Give me this one, give me this one. Oh, good flash. Bro, go easy, you know, gold. maybe he came back from a long day of work. True. True. I'm sorry to the homie if he did. Yes, double crit cloak. Now I have 50% crit. So now every time I'm gonna heal. And 50% chance that he hates his life. What if I crit 16 times in a row? Watch this. Oh, never mind. Well, let's test it. One crit. Look at this healing. I just heal him. Uh oh. Jimataro, Jimataro! Sorry. Oh no, never use this. How much do I heal from a minion? I wanna test. It's like 20. 
It's so crazy I can't run out of mana. Because it's an auto attack, my Q. You can also heal from Krugs. Low Enjoyer. I do have Mastery on the champion, but not as good as Solar Baka. So I'd always recommend watching Solar Baka if you want to learn how to play Gangplank, man. You can watch me, because I'll, I'll try and be more educated. But Solar Baka also is very educative, and he's the best Gangplank out there. So I, I'd highly recommend watching Solar Baka. I'll learn you a few things or two with my type of, or my style of like trying to teach you. Uh, but if you want to learn everything, I would highly recommend to watch uh, Mr. Baka. I probably... Hey, get out of here, bro. Get out of my jungler. We're just slowly scaling this game. But I like that it's a slow game. We have Smolder. We have GP. I got to scale into... Wait, Phil6 can ult me from this wall. Yeah, he can definitely look to ult me. Oh. We're always doing 500 manus here, bro. I have ult. I feel a bit naked without my first strike money. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think about fleet yet. It's more consistent. It's more easy. But you don't have first strike. That makes sense. Crit. Another crit. Another crit. Oh, Conqueror. Ooh. Please, Ken, stay alive. Stay alive! No! Sorry. I mean, guys, there, there is no Gangplank player that comes close to Solar Baka. If you want to learn anything about Yasuo, or Yasuo, about Gangplank, go watch Solar Baka. You will not regret it, of course. I mean, I'm farming for this, 600. It's a slow, steady grind. I'm actually in lethal range, I gotta be careful. Stand proud. Thank you so much, man. Right back at you. I'm proud of you too. Tobias? I don't think Tobias is close to Solar Baka personally. I think Tob I think Solar Baka is just too good. I mean, I actually don't know what ELO Tobias is. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think Solar Baka is just... Had a shoulders about any gameplay player. I'm considering TPing Bolt and getting the tier 1 turret there, but... We're just slowly farming through the items. My whole team is kind of losing though. We also have a terrible team comp. Actually, I don't have Futures Market, I keep forgetting. Pounder Brito, you're right, bro. He's gonna ult another lane for some passive income soon. I'm down to TP here because I'm also super close to level 13. I'm strong now. Nice. I've ulted a second. Yes! Oh, that feels good. The thing is though, guys, you see that I've kind of just been farming even with Urgold, right? Like, we've been trading waves, but I have two items and he has one item. That's just GP gold income, though. I have... Five, 600 extra gold with my passive. Or with my Q passive. Now we're level 13, so now my barrels come out fast. Everyone 
Yasuo could come top. Fiddlestick was bought. Oh, Shiza. Oh, not even close. I mean, they should all die for that, right? Like, they should all die for that. Nice. The smolder just... Okay, I don't think my team can play that worse. <sighs> I haven't. Yikes. That's disgusting. They're all top, by the way. All four of them. So I'm going to TP mid and get this. I can't defend this by myself. But I at least trade something. Wait, they're hard overstaying. They're overstaying for a tier 3 turret. I can flank them. I can flank. I have ult. They hard overstayed for a tier 3. Oh, what? Are we really losing with three on top of me again? What? But like, what, what is my team doing? I'm surprised. I mean, let's stop blaming the team, focus on myself. But they're definitely doing some interesting decisions. I should recall to get tempo here because Nash is up and if I stay for this next wave that I'm also late to bot lane, I'm gonna go here. And being late to bot side would also mean they get more tempo to Nash, so I gotta reset here instantly, go bolt, defend this, but also be able to clear this. If they overstay, we can get some kills here maybe. I mean, I still have so much farm, so we're still in this game. I got top tier 1, mid tier 1. But it's not an easy game. I gotta reset, then we're gonna play for this. Did you guys know that Gangplank Barrels used to give vision in bush? So broken. But they were also capped to 3, not to 5. You were only able to have 3 barrels, I think. Or, did you, or maybe you had 5. I can't even remember. I'm three items against one item Ergot still. Just because of the nature of my champion. Yasuo is eight kills and I have more gold. I don't win this though. I couldn't get my auto tech off. Mm. I mean, I, yeah, I lose if I face check. If he face checks me, I win. If I face check him, he wins. That's a really bad death though. That's so smart by him. I never expected him to tempo trap me there. I thought he'd be recalling for sure. He's sitting on a shit ton of gold, so I never would have expected that. We'll play Brieso. They have three dragons and they want to play for Nash. I don't think we should be fighting. I think we should be fighting. Mm, close. Ergon has to recall, so I have a little bit of tempo, but Yasuo might come and he's gonna have like a full item.
Yeah, look, he has a full item. That's why I said I'm surprised that Yasuo was still there. Yasuo had like 3k gold almost on his reset there. That's why I was just super surprised that he was still there. He tempo trapped me, but well played by him. Ooh, close. If he face checks me, I win. No Zonyas or something like that. Dude, this guy just knows every time where I'm at. I hate it. I might need Serpent's Fang this game. Shield Bow, Urgot Shield, Little Shoot. Just uh, play that all right. So one K for the boys. Massive shutdown. Definitely required if I want to win this game. Hits the spot indeed. Getting a plus one K. Okay, I'm very close to any item here. I really hope they're not doing Baron. Alright, let's run. I mean, what do I buy? Do I say just sit on shoot ball? Or do I go serpents? I'm gonna go serpents. It's not crit though. Ha. I mean, I'm gonna do it. No, you actually don't get money for grubs. You do get money for Yori ghouls, but not for grubs. That's it. Smolder almost has enough stacks, right? Echoes flanking. Oh, that's not a bad one. That Jin W was mean. Kill him, kill him fast, kill him fast. Yes. Oh! 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 I think my team can do Baron without me. So I'm gonna go Bolt and get the tier 2. Oh! I had to do max DPS on the Urgold, so he, like, we kill him before this ult. The Jin W is mean on me, man. And now we're gonna play for Dragon 2. But I'm gonna kill this Fiddlesticks, I'm gonna kill this Fiddlesticks. Shh. Okay. I can also tempo trap. Wow, I missed that one. Nice. Okay, they don't have soul wind condition. He took Nash. I still need to get my reset in. I'm out of sync with my team in terms of tempo right now because they've already all recalled. 
I think they're looking for me. I rarely forget and never forgive. I'm gonna buy this. I'm not sure how good it is. If Solobuck sees my build, he might laugh, but it's fine. We're playing good this game. Am I not using triple barrel combo because I'm not mechanically skilled enough? Honorically. I'd rather go for the consistent plays than like the, the more tricky ones. It didn't crit? 80%? I don't have a red buff, why, why did I flash? Holy shit. I like the fleet setup, how much did I heal? 4k, it's pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with my performance this game, especially because my entire team was losing, so this was a better game. All we really had to do was just keep farming, right? And then the one the, the one fight we had against the, the Yasuo, where we got the 1k, that's really where the game turned. And then the next team fight where we survived the Urgot ult, I mean, that was really lucky. But then the game kind of just instantly became too easy. Like, I'm just too strong. I was like an item behind the Yasuo, now I'm a complete item ahead. Nice Echo W's. Got my W for the fear. No fear. I just do so much damage now when I'm full bit like that. I think the Serpent Swing was good though. It's always kind of hard to judge. Nice. Uh oh, wait, we're not done yet. Bomba. Wait a second. Woo! Well, nice. <clears throat> base camp, base camp, bro. I'm not that. I'm not that good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm sorry. All right. I had fun. That was more fun than Shen. I had a lot of fun playing the champion. For sure. All right, unfortunately, chat, I have somewhere to be. And uh, that's because my schedule today was a little bit messed up. I went to my grandma and I stayed there way too long. So it's only a five hour stream today. I want to stream a little bit longer, but nonetheless, I had a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to finish the gangplank and we're still going to play Shen. Sometimes I'll just do a day with Shen. Um, I'll give it to... Yeah, it's some nice W's. <clears throat> Alright, uh, 7 1, pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to check out the socials, I have two YouTube channels one for the main, one for the VODs. I have a Discord. And then, lastly, and I will always advertise this, I have two courses one for the landing phase, one for the mid to late. They have one free video each that you can check out. They'll teach you or they'll help you structure your gameplay from start to finish. Um, currently updating them too. So if you get it now, you get all the additional updates for free. That is that. And we're gonna raid somebody. And let's see, it looks like Viper just started stream oh, his co-streaming. Uh wait, Elite. Elite just started streaming. He said maybe last stream for two weeks. Let's bless Elite 500 with the stream. He's an amazing content creator. And uh, let's go over to Elite 500. Bless him with the raid. Have an amazing remainder of your evening chat. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. I will see you guys soon. And uh, peace. Thank you all for the love. Thank you for the support. See you guys.
very soon mm-hmm.